아. 아. 더. 다. 다. It's not a. It's da. Da. Can you hear me? Ah. Ah 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 ah. Hello, everybody. What's up, everybody? How you doing, everybody? Hell yeah, everybody. Let's go. It is today because today is the day that we slay. Yay. Okay. Yo, what's up? Nick Gaming, what's up? Boompy, hello. HHH, what's up? Zeke, Ash, Dark New, Katarina, Dragon X, Jittermat, Laura, Agent27. What's up, y'all? Annie Keth Ray, hi. Rena, how you guys doing? It's been a while. Danny Lucifer, hello. Yo, Ida, how you been? I'm doing good. Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? Yo, is the server up? Is the server up? <laughs> Finally working on main story quest on Star Rail while I wait for the patch. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 11? What are we gonna do to 11? You wanna just chill? Y'all wanna just chill? We may watch some video, but maybe. We'll, we'll just chill. Oh yeah! Thank you for reminding me. Subatai video. We can watch Subatai video. Subatai asked me to watch it on stream, and I'm like, hell yeah. I haven't seen it yet. Working. I feel that. I'm working right now. Right there with you. Something metal. Little rookie, welcome back. Chillin' sounds nice too. Hell yeah. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Do 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 Just reached level 50 on Star Wars today. Let's go. King Malcolm. Hey, hey, I had a long time no see. Hey, what's up? Welcome back. Glad to see you. Paxi. What's up? One more hour for Asia server to go live. Hand orange covering eye. That's an emote, right? <laughs> That's an emote, right? Yeah. Hand orange covering eyes. What's up? Hello from a Twitch viewer. Hey, let's go, poggers. Welcome in. Moonlight, hello. Ak Akira. So. Yo, I woke up a little late today. Well, I woke up early. Well, I slept late, took a nap for like two hours. And then I was tired, I ate lunch, and I took a nap again, and I just woke up. I wasn't... <laughs> I couldn't sleep last night because I was getting that video uploaded. But... Here we are. I took a good nap. It was a failed email copy pasta. I gotcha, I gotcha. Am I ready for... excited for TCG? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Actually... More excited than I thought I would be. To be honest, the whole like TCG thing, and when I thought about it like a few days ago, I'm like, ah, it's all good. It's like pretty chill, nothing going on, like nothing major. And then I was like, you know what? It's been a while since I played Genshin. <laughs> so I'm, I'm more excited than I thought. What time is it for me? It's 9 15 p.m. Kofuku, what's up? Welcome back. What's up? What's up, yo? I've been thinking about the new desert area and exploring it since Party Quest. It's good, ain't it? Mmm. Mmm. By the way. Chat. Theory Thursdays are back. Finally. People have been asking me. It's like, yo, are you gonna even do them again? <laughs> Theory Thursday is back. So this Thursday. I don't know what we're gonna talk about, but I, I figured, you know, the new patch. 
things to talk about hopefully um on top of that we might because you know we've been playing star real too theory thursdays might be like obviously heavy portion of it a lot of it is genshin related but we'll probably like dabble a little on a star real lore too uh who are you gonna pull for i might try pulling a little bit for kirara maybe but i'm not gonna spend a lot because i'm saving still what well, takes you what's up i haven't even started on the second desert area a lot of catching up to do yeah mm -mm 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 -mm. very much so i love it yeah the desert the uh the party the desert area it's really it's pretty puggers it's pretty puggers Miro, hello, what's up? Hi, Island. Hope you're doing well. I have the perfect video for you to watch while you stall and wait for the update. Check out a summary in Sumeru by Stupendium. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't like watching a lot of videos unless I'm like super hyped, to be honest, but maybe. I'll check it out. I'll pull it up, see what it's about. We have to watch Super Tai's video too. Uh, but here's the thing. Once I will start watching videos, what happens usually? It's not like a... a stupendium. It's not like something bad, but everybody starts suggesting videos and then there's like a shit ton. You know what I mean? So we'll... We'll, we'll, we'll gauge how that goes. Carrie, what's up? Welcome back. You could talk about the previous Hydro Archon again since we now know for certain what happens to her. Do we? Is that spoilers? Are you talking about what we speculated before? I'm confused. Do 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 also, we haven't seen any teaser from Mihoyo for upcoming characters, but we usually get it like two days before. Oh yeah, no drip marketing this time around, huh? Akuiz, what's up? He does song parodies of things, and yeah, it's good recap of Genshin story so far. I'll dabble. Seven minutes. Seven minutes long. I'll dabble. I'll dabble. Akemi, what's up? Long time no see. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. Someone didn't finish party? I did! Didn't I? <laughs> didn't I? I figured- I thought it, it wasn't like- They didn't give too much. I finished the main story in the new desert area. That shit was long though. That's part of the reason why I probably forgot if there's anything. What's up, bro? I'm doing good. What's up, bro? So I don't know. Are you gonna pull for Kira Texas? <laughs> I will be pulling for Texas. I think. Depending on how much budget I have. Akko, what's up? Welcome back. Working so I'll be lurking. Got you. Good evening, Kaladen. Hello. You cheating on Genshin with Honkai Star Real? No. No, we're, we're fine. You know, there's nothing going on. <laughs> Don't say it like that. <laughs> you need to read between the lines for that, but about the previous Archon. I think we... I... We'll see. We'll see. We can talk about more of it, like, during Theory Thursday. Hell yeah. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I remember you finished the World Quest for Theory Thursday. Yeah, we did finish it. It was just really long. That's probably why I don't remember a lot of it. Do, 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 do. Imani, hello. World Quest and the Voru Kasha's glow artifacts that explains enough to understand what happened in previous Archon. Oh, the previous Archon. Yeah, the previous Archon and the water around the tree or whatever. Yeah, I remember that. We don't know exactly what's going on current in the current Hydro Archon situation and Fontaine. Like, we don't know definitely. But we do know somewhat of a idea. We do have somewhat of an idea of what happened to the previous Archon. That's what you're talking about, right? How 
they were like linked or friends with the goddess of flower or whatever and then they helped each other to basically save whatever and then died and yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What deck do you like to play and what new TCG character are you looking forward to? Nahi Nahi! <laughs> nahi Nahi! <laughs> Let's go! The console version of Star will release June. Is that. Did they say that? I, I have been missing out on the news last couple days. Did they mention that? Shit. June? That's pretty close. Mm mm mm. We don't know about the new one, but yeah, they said that about the previous Hydro Con. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I was able to complete a mini world quest in the new area. Three IRL days. It was also good and a little sus. There was some Fontaine crumbs in it. I think we gotta like take tomorrow because we're streaming Genshin today and tomorrow. Spend some time tomorrow talking about some things like a refresher lore for Fontaine crumbs. And then Theory Thursdays would we'll do like a little bit more of a deep dive. How does that sound? So today my plan is to just dabble a little bit with the TCG. I don't think I can stream for too long because I do have to go to the airport tomorrow uh, to pick up my dad, but we'll just chill. Some TCG, some checking out new content today. Maybe I'll pull for Kirara or try to. And then tomorrow, we'll, I'm, assu I'm assuming there's some story revolving around the new event stuff. So we'll do that tomorrow as well. At least get, to, get it started. Pick up some Fontaine lore and a Theory Thursday. We'll deep dive. Mm. What is potty? It's that pink floating thing. That uh, technically the pink floating thing his name is Sorush, but they're like a race called potty. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Charlotte girl will probably definitely say something about Fontaine. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> By the way, uh, some little updates. Some little updates. So, I have a goal. This is obviously a new Genshin Impact patch, right? I have a goal. This patch. I am going to complete Genshin Impact Battle Pass. <laughs> yes. Something that I've been neglecting for so long. I am going to complete the Battle Pass this patch. Yo, there's a reason why I'm saying this. Right now, I just finished. Like a few days ago, I just finished Star Rail's Battle Pass. And it felt good. I felt like a sense of accomplishment. Right? I don't know if you guys know this. I tweeted about it. Bro, I've even been doing daily check-ins on Hoyo Labs for all three games. As best as I could. For Star Rail, I didn't miss a single day this month. For Genshin, I only missed like two days this month. And then I think for Honkai Impact Third, I missed like a week. But, you know, we got it started. Basically, what I want to do is since my Star Rail Battle Pass is finished... I want to finish the Genshin Impact Battle Pass and I want to finish for the first time ever Honkai Impact 3rd Battle Pass because it just reset like a couple days ago. That is my goal. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes, but you know, it's like a reset. It's like a mental reset for Genshin Impact, right? Because of the patch, which is good. Uh, on another news. Sometime next month, uh, I'm doing a collab with a VTuber friend of mine. You may not, you may or may not know, uh, who this VTuber is. Well, I'll give you more con uh, context as time goes on. But I think next month, sometime, I'm doing a collab, and it's a Honkai Impact Third stream. That's pretty hype. Uh, we'll get. I'll try to get you more context as things surface because we're in the planning process right now. But that's poggers. Um, what else? 
the emo event it's going strong right now it's in discord i think we only have like five days left on the emote event in our discord server basically we're having the community members create an emote and i'll select maybe one or two that i'll even eventually use for our channel and then we'll pick random 10 random people to give away welcome moons and things like that right so that's something that we've been doing for like the last couple of weeks there's quite a bit of submissions in discord uh, some of them are really cool, so make sure to enter if you want. It's free to enter. Uh, but yeah, join the Discord. What else? What other news? Oh yeah! Honkai Impact 3rd Chapter 37 Act 2 is this Friday night. That is Saturday morning for some of you in the Asia time zone. Um, also, this Friday is the first, technically the first developer live stream for Honkai Star Rail since its release. Right? So, I will be live streaming that as well this Friday. Uh, if you guys have seen like the waiting rooms that I created on my YouTube channel, that, yeah, we have that. That's going on this Friday. That's Pogger. So this Friday, at least my time's on this Friday. I'm streaming in the morning and streaming at night. Yeah. How's how's that? I think that's pretty dope. So today, Genshin patch. Tomorrow, a little bit of event stuff for Genshin. Thursday, Theory Thursday. Friday morning, Honkai Star Rail live stream. Friday night, Honkai Impact 3rd, Chapter 37. Part two. A lot of stuff going on this week. A lot of stuff going on. We eating good hell. Yeah, what's up, 52 volt? I just completed chapter nine for Honkai Pack 3. Got a long way to go. You'll get there. It takes time. You just finished chapter nine. Let's go. Let's go. I mean a lot of things with that sentence. Any Twitch streams? Chat, I need I need some I need some ideas and thoughts. What are we going to do with Twitch streams? I know I want to do it, but... When? <laughs> I keep wanting to do Twitch streams, but... It is a lot of work streaming twice a day. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to do this, like... So it's not overwhelming, but it's also, like, content. Ah... Uh... Ah... Uh... I don't know. I want to do it, though. Like, it's, like soon continue streaming on twitch and stuff i don't know only do it when you feel like it i might do it i might start at least somewhat semi-consistently after we get our epichan uh illustration for those of you who don't know we have a channel mascot that we've been like cooking out for the past like couple months uh it's epichan epichan is the whale now, I commissioned an artist to do an illustration for our mascot, Epichan, the whale. And after we get it, I think I'm going to use that as a PNG model for live streaming for Twitch. So maybe we'll start streaming on Twitch uh, once that gets started. Like the art finished. Epichan, let's go. And then also, eventually, I'm currently looking for um, ways to make Epichan like a merch. Nothing big for, nothing big, nothing huge to start with, but there's going to be stickers, Epichan stickers. So once we get the illustrations done, we'll get uh, stickers made for those of you who want to like support the channel and then also get like stickers out of it. And I'm going to try to make it as cheap as possible, but we'll see like what the cost is for manufacturing and all that stuff. But yeah, stickers, Epichan stickers. And we might throw in like a couple of fun emotes that we use as a sticker too. It's going to, it's probably going to be like a package where you pay like, um, I don't know how much it will be, but like the package will have like maybe five stickers all together. And then I think it'll be international shipping. I'm going to try to make it international shipping, so it's like everybody has a chance to get it. So that's cool. A lot of stuff going on. Also, 
maybe last but not least. Teddy Teddy replaced by Epichan? Nah, Teddy Teddy would never get replaced. <laughs> last but not least. July 1st through July 4th. I am now for sure going to L LA Anime Expo. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> now, I've been to Anime Expo before. Um, and I am going to do a vlog. But since we have like a month in advance, I want to like plan some stuff for the vlog. Like, like content ideas. But I'll, I'll see what I can cook up with. But more social interaction for Grandpa. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do a vlog while I'm there. That would be pretty dope. And then... Chat, what is the best part about conventions? For those of you who've been to conventions, what was like your favorite parts? Maybe if I know that, then I can try to make content revolving around the cool parts that people enjoy so that it's more fun. <clears throat> Maybe that, that will help me with the idea uh, brainstorming. Cosplays with respect. Cosplays, that is for sure. We got cosplays. Seeing the cosplayers in series theme booths. How, I wonder, how do I like, hmm. Seeing people cosplaying and just discussing or share interests with strangers. Communicating with strangers. I got you. I'm an introvert, so that is very scary, but I understand. <laughs> I got you. Merch, artist boots. If there are any, and cosplay. So cosplay, art, and... I mean, these, these are the big, big things, right? Looking at the cool things, I can't because I'm broke. Yeah, I'm broke too. I feel that. I don't doing cosplay. Should I cosplay? <laughs> my voice cracked because I it got me nervous. It got me nervous. My voice cracked. Oh, yo. Yo. Maybe I'll cosplay, but not like a full on cosplay. Maybe like, you know, accessory cosplay, if you know what the difference is. Right? Like, we can do... People usually do full cosplay. Like, I've done both. I've done a full cosplay. I've done, like... You know, that first time that I went to a convention, I just had the Amber Bunny ears, and that was cool. What character has, like, a cool... Obviously detectable characteristics of an accessory when it comes to cosplay something like amber bunnies amber amber's a baron bunny's ear what is a cool their coat oh yo like a like a fatui coat maybe sino hat oh my god dude that looks so uncomfortable <laughs> Sino's hat. That looks so uncomfortable. <laughs> What's up, Morfessa? Well, it's Kane. Are you telling me I'm old? <laughs> yo, you what? Yo. Why? <laughs> it's making it sound like you're saying I'm old. A friend convinced me to do a well made cosplay for upcoming convention. Holy. You can cosplay it as well. <laughs> I am going to cosplay as well eventually. But... Maybe not for this convention. I'm waiting actually for the Weld cosplay. Because, I don't know if you know this, Weld has a very specific looking glasses. 
Yeah. So I need to get that very specific looking glasses. And I can't just like get a lensless glasses because I'm blind. I have to get it prescribed. You only need a can and you're perfect. I do have like the same hair. Hu Tao hat. The ring glasses, it's, it's almost like a, like a rectangle glasses. I in the apocalypse cosplay window. I wonder. Dude, here's the thing. I've cosplayed a few times now. Any costume that has long hair, it's annoying. <laughs> so... Apocalypse, Otto, Lucha, they have long hair and it's actually really annoying. I don't know how people like grow out their hairs. It's like, I've done it before, but it's so like annoying. I mean, obviously I'll be wearing a wig, but even then it's annoying. Ashkai would go with Yenfei hat for sure. Oh, the little, little, that looking hat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hot take from Ireland? I don't think it's a hot take at all. What do you mean? Yo, if you've done cosplay before, long hair wigs are very uncomfortable. Number one, they're hot. Number two, the hair itself feels like it's obviously like not real hair, right? From your head. It's like a make, made up hair. So it feels weird. Maybe I'm just not used to it, but... Yes! And they are very heavy. Paimon's floating crown. What about... Hmm... What about Honkai Impact 3 characters? What about Honkai Impact 3rd characters? Like, Honkai Impact 3rd character that has an accessory that is very easy to know what it is that is, like, not ridiculously annoying. <laughs> Levin, thank you for the two years! Damn. Thank you so much. Thank you for the two years. Holy, that's like, wow. Uh, two years here. Happy to be part of the community. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Two years, man. Jeez. Appreciate you. Thank you. Tuna? Tuna's horse. Y'all, y'all need to step away from my full cosplay right now. <laughs> we're, we're going down the path of like full on cosplay. I am not doing a full on cosplay. I just need like an accessory. That's all like just an accessory. Lucha's coffin. I am not carrying around, around the coffin. <laughs> yo, yo, imagine, imagine like, like. People at the convention will know what that is because like everybody cosplays or whatever. So it's not a big deal. But imagine me carrying around the fucking coffin in the middle of the streets in LA. <laughs> People will be like, what the fuck? <laughs> and it's not even like I have an outfit. So it's not easy to like see that I'm cosplaying. It's just a random Asian dude with the big ass coffin that he's carrying around. It's kind of. <laughs> Bunny ears from Teddy Teddy Magical Girl. Ah. Oh. 
police, police. Out of context, I'll be terrified for sure. <laughs> oh my god. Hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I am not doing this. I am no way in hell. I can do the bunny ears. But dude, that bunny ears is so long. <laughs> that looks so long. Let's 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 how about how about we steer away from this conversation, huh? <laughs> I know I brought it up, but now I'm having second thoughts. <laughs> how about we move away from this conversation? Dun 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 What did I miss? Nothing. Nothing. You're alright, nothing. Yeah, I'm excited to check out the new uh, patch. By the way, on a different note, when is Texas Alter coming out for Ark Knights? Anybody know? I just want to pull. Like, I haven't played Ark Knights in a minute. Maybe it's been like a few months. But I do like Texas, so I want to pull. But if I'm pulling, I might as well pull on stream. Oh, it's already out? How long is she out for? Did I miss you reading the patch notes? I don't really usually read the patch notes, so you didn't miss anything. What am I doing this stream? Just checking out the new event, checking out the cars. It won't be like a deep, deep like event. We'll start the event. If there is an event, I don't even know what's in this patch, to be honest, besides cards. So I'm, I'm here to find out. Explore. <laughs> Event starts on Thursday. Oh, is that right? How long is Texas out for, chat? In our art nights. Like, there's a duration, right? How long is it usually? Like, two weeks? Yo, you missed story quest part two, remember? Yeah, we gotta do that too. Ends tomorrow? Texas Alter ends tomorrow? You're bullshitting. You're lying. You're lying to me. I, I feel like you're lying to me. I don't know. I I'm lost, chat. Which event are we talking about that is on a Thursday? Is it Art Knights event or is it Genshin like story event? I'm confused. I am lost. Genshin event starts Thursday. So then what's today? What do we get today? New pat or new new banner, that's it. Hmm. Hmm. You owe me act two, maybe? Phew. Okay. We'll test the waters. We'll see when we get in this. Okay, let me see. Uh, Texas. Between May 23rd. It's out right now. June 6th. 
Anybody down for an art night stream next week? I don't know how much I'll be doing the actual gameplay of Art Knights, but um, I do want to pull for uh, Texas. It might just be like a pulling stream, that's it. And then just like chill. Just like, like, like a going back to Art Knights catch up stream or something like that. You sound tired, you good? I woke up from a nap, so I'm good. Have you done Baiju story quest? Nah. Nah, nah. Next week? Starting next week? I think I will stream on Twitch. Yeah, it's fine. Oh my god, I love this song. Hey. 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 Yo, chat, starting next Monday or Tuesday? Uh, since we have okay, so basically here here's the here's the deal. Here's the deal. My obligations for Honkai Star Real videos sponsorships they're all finished for now anyway. So for for I have this period of time, maybe like a month, month and a half of just focusing on making one singular video. Anybody want to guess what video that is? I am focused on making one singular video. For the next month and a month and a half. Basically during this patch of Genshin Impact. My entire focus is making Fontaine Hydro Archon Genshin Impact Theory video. That is the next video I will be for sure heavily working on. We might do like a reaction video here and there. But besides that, huge, huge Fontaine related uh theory video will be will get started be working on english i can't talk now with that said because the reason why i bring this up is because i do have this time of not much work because all i'm doing is focusing on that one video i'm gonna take it pretty slow because we do have like two months left for until like maybe fontaine comes out so starting next week i will be streaming a little bit more and when i say a little bit more probably Twitch streams because I might just do the story quest. There's a lot of story quests that I need to do. Baiju story quest, Dia story quest, Sino story quest, and then Yoimi story quest. We might do it on YouTube, but because Sino, Baiju, and Dia, their story quests are a little bit like you know they're not really new. We might as well get that done during like a Twitch stream. <coughs> how how does that sound? I think that might be better. Just so that we can like knock them out. Like bam, 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 bam. Without like the uh stress of like, oh my god, like I need to like what do I do? We're just gonna like just do both streams on YouTube and Twitch. Sounds good, and you can upload the edited version of YouTube too. Yeah, yeah, on the VOD channel, yeah. Yeah, and then we that we do also gotta do hangouts. So Essentially, I think what we need to do is Twitch streams heavily focus on getting all the Genshin Impact quests in the backlog all finished. Story quests and hangouts. As well as like quick speed run like dailies on Twitch for Hoyoverse games. For YouTube, we'll focus on the big, big like make events, uh, main chapters, those kind of things. 3.7 is the best update for you to catch up on back. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think that should be the plan for the rest of like the next 30 days or so. Or the duration of this patch. Uh, so next week we'll do that. We'll start on the Twitch streams. By then we'll probably have Epiton's illustration finished. Um, and then next week on YouTube, we'll do the Art Knights poll for Texas. Uh, we'll continue with... We'll... we'll 
not next week, but the week after that. It was so fast. New Star Rail patch is coming. In like a week and a half. You guys know this, right? Week and a half, new Star Rail patch is coming. So next entire week is me trying to play catch up. Because we have some time. This Friday, we'll do Hong Kong Apex 3rd, 37, at part 2. And then next week, some, sometime around next week, we'll also finish chapter 37. Good, we have a plan. Let's go. Um, I'm hyped. Let's go. Trying to catch up between all games is really something. Yeah, but I think we can do it. All my video obligations are done, so I think we, I think we got this. All I have to do for the next like week and a half to two, maybe two, three weeks, next two, three weeks, just heavy focus on streaming while I start cooking up um, Fontaine video in the background. Yeah, that's that's a good plan. That's a good plan. What's going on today? Uh, what's up? Welcome in, Ducky. We're just uh, going to explore the new patch. It won't be a very long stream today uh, because I have to go to the airport tomorrow, but... You know, we're just hanging out, excited for the new patch. Just gonna check out some things. So, I do you have enough Stellar J for Silver Wolf? Yes, I've been saving everything. Convis, what's up? Hello, hello. Do you think the Lofu story will end in 1.1? There's a lot of stuff left to tie up. I wonder. I wonder. I'm not sure. If we use Genshin Impact as a reference, it should end, right? But also if we use Genshin Impact as a reference, the Sumeru main story, the Archon Quest, that went for a long time. So we'll see. Are you going to get Yoimiya cons? It would be cool if I just randomly pull Yoimiya, but... Look, I'm going to pull a little bit on the banner for Kirara, okay? I'm not even going to really use Kirara. I'm just going to get her because she's a cat girl and that's poggers. I'm a weeb, okay? If I get her, cool. I'm not going to spend like a crazy amount and I'm just going to consider it as me building pity or losing a 50-50 perhaps so that I'm guaranteed for the next 5 star because right now I'm on a coin flip. And my pity is really low, so we might as well like spend a little bit just to see what happens. But yeah. A little bit, you say? Oh. Yo, 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 act like... Yo, act like I'm like a gigantic leviathan. I'm sitting here with all the funds that I've made and saved for like... Fossilor, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, who is a uh, who's on the first rotation? Yoimiya Yae, right? Yoimiya Yae, and then Kirara is on both banners, right? So, uh, then obviously my my answer is pretty simple. I'm gonna pull on the Yoimiya banner just in case I do get Yoimiya. That that's that's actually pretty good. Changyun and Yunjin too. Ooh, I do have Changyun at C6 already, but Yunjin would be great because uh, Yunjin goes really well with Yoimiya, doesn't she? I haven't built her yet, but that's what I've been hearing. So like maybe like a future proof kind of situation. I wonder what Fossil Lord might look like. I'm telling you, it's just going to be Sede. I keep thinking about it. I see no other character besides Turandar. Yunjin goes phenomenally well with Yoimiya and Ayato. There you go. Hell yeah. Sede and Staria Honkai Impact. I'm not sure. But I mean, does it matter? The 
probably the appearance might be a little bit different, but it's going to be very clear that it's going to be like an XP from a Honkai Impact 3 character, right? I never knew this, but Chad, do you guys know what uh, Sere looks like in GGZ? I never knew it because I've never seen it before, but it's actually very close to a Star Rail version. I was kind of shocked. Let me see if I can pull it up. I think this is... Yeah, okay, here it is. Check this out. I think this is real. Or official. From GGZ. Look at that. It's almost like identical. This literally looks exactly the same. Yeah, I guess this is like a grown-up version. Yeah, I didn't know and then I saw it. I'm like, oh my god, they look the same. That's actually pretty cool. They're all connected. They're all connected. Okay, let's watch this video chat. Subatai. Subatai asked me to watch this video. They have a new video uploaded. It's called Beware the Heavenly Principle Story. It came out two days ago. Let me pull it up. If you guys don't know Subatai, I'll link it in... I'll pin this. If you guys don't know Subatai... You guys know who Subatai is, right? I'll pin it for now. Um, basically, they're a phenomenal video editor and creator. And they started making... A while ago, they started making like almost like a movie trailer for Genshin Impact. And it's so legit. The sound effects... The timing, even the voiceovers, it's literally like you're watching a movie trailer. Um, so, big shout out to Subatai. I wish I could edit as good as that. But I know that they spend like a shit ton of time editing everything for like a 2-3 minute video. So, a lot of work. But mad props. Go support if you enjoyed this video. Uh, it's pinned. Their channel is pinned in the com- uh, the, 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 what's it called? Chat. If you enjoyed the video, go support, okay? And go hit the like button. Let's see. Do I want captions for this? It's just my opinion, but a word of advice. Always be on your guard when around gods. The fate of Tevat cannot easily be changed. Perhaps a god may have a slim chance. But for anyone else, who can say? Oh, shit. I'm sure you remember the entity that changed your fate. The Heavenly Principles. The Heavenly Principles have been silent for many years. Wow. The Gnosis are symbols of their control over Tevat and all the laws. Each Archon has an internal magical focus that resonates directly with Celestia itself. This is a Gnosis, huh? The gods goad us on with the promise wow. of their seven treasures. Wow. The doorway to divinity. What if I were to destroy the Gnosis now and awaken the Heavenly Principles? Awaken the Heavenly Principles? Everything happened so suddenly. I'm sorry. I've seen the nation strike forward and lose everything to the Heavenly Principles. 
They cannot be made to continue paying the price for those so-called sins. For 500 years, you have faithfully done your duty. You'll lose everything. You... You really are crazy. Strife is engraved upon every god and every gnosis brought forth into this world. Jeez. Everyone must pay the price for what they've learned. Everything is the fruit of seeds planted long ago. Time is just waiting for those seeds to sprout. It's all a gigantic hoax. A lie. The truth shall set you free. Wow, do you buy down? <laughs> Rise beyond the fate bestowed upon you. And I shall shed a tear at the end of time as I gaze back upon your life. All right. I mean, at this point, are we surprised? I mean, that's pretty. It's a long, oh. Long <laughs> Good. Amazing, even. <laughs> Are we surprised now? We're not surprised, right? Jeez. Man, you don't understand how much Tsubatai is doing for Genshin Impact with these videos. They should be getting paid, to be honest. God damn. Yes and no for the surprise. Yeah. Jesus. I noticed something very cool. Um where is it? Dude, this this point right here that the background music when the shot turns into the cathedral in Mondstadt. The background music it just it it, it does give that theater or not theater. Cathedral vibe. That was pretty sick, right here. Heavenly principles have been silenced for many years. Right here. But the Gnosis are symbols of their control over Tibet and all- You hear that organ in the back? That was so- that was such a good choice. I don't know if it was like a music that was from Genshin, or they made it, or it sampled, but... That cathedral uh, organ sound that comes in after the black screen with the- the shot of the Monster Cathedral, that's pretty epic. The heavenly principles. The heavenly principles have been silenced for many years. Wow. But the Gnosis are symbols of their control over Tibet and all the laws. Each Archon has an internal magical focus that resonates directly with Celestia. Probably itself. not copyright, yeah, probably. This is a Gnosis, huh? The gods goad us on with the promise of their seven treasures. The doorway to divinity. Reminds me of interstellar what music. It does a little bit. Destroy the Gnosis now. And awaken the heavenly principles. Awaken the heavenly principles. Everything happened so suddenly. I'm sorry. I've seen the nation strike. This is also. I thought this was also interesting. Is this edited in in the eye reflection? I think it is. Because I don't remember seeing where in the game where A opens her eyes and then the reflection is Makoto. This is edited in for sure. Like the scene in the background that was being used in the eye, right? Forward and lose everything to the heaven. Right there. Yeah, that's definitely edited. The principles. I think that's for sure edited. I've never seen that in the game. That was pretty epic. You know that scene with uh, A embracing Makoto in one of the demos, character demos or trailers or whatever? That's in the background here. That's reflected in the eye. Yeah, that's that's pretty dope. They cannot be made to continue paying the price for those so-called sins. They should hire Subatai. They should. Faithfully done your duty. You'll lose everything. You, you really are crazy. Strife is engraved upon every god and every. Okay. If you guys want to watch this video on your own time, it's pinned in the chat. But I will say, it's time for me, as a lame, you know, layman, give constructive criticism. I, 
I just want to say this video is phenomenally done. I can never do this. It's way too much work. Uh, but to potentially help the future production of Subatai, I would like to give my opinion on one thing that maybe could change to make it even better. But um, this is not in any way shape me looking down on the con uh, the video. It's like fucking mind blowing. We already know this, right? There is one thing that I noticed in this trailer where basically the music, the epic part, epicness of the music comes in pretty early, maybe like the first minute or so. Um, and then usually trailers, if I've seen a lot of trailers, around the middle area, they kind of, the music cuts out a lot of the times. We can even see that here. Tsubatai did that. However, as soon as the music drops and then the music comes back is usually like high tempo like super impactful and almost like a music when you're listening to music it's almost like when a beat drops anybody know what i'm trying to explain here a lot of the anim the animations like they're they're already good i think the animation itself the scenes they use is already fine like more than enough like high 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 uh production the thing is, like the climax, yeah, it feels like if we're talking about climax, this video hits the climax point pretty early, around like 40 seconds, one minute, and then it sustains there. I think a lot of that's probably because the music is very similar. It's epic music, but then there's not like an up and down. It's more like sustained. And that kind of detracts from the epicness of the visuals. So basically... Celestia Here is the build-up, huh? right? The gods goad us on with the promise of their seven treasures. It's a long build-up. The doorway to divinity. What if I were to destroy the heavenly principles? This is this is right here when this all the percussion hits. This is like the epic point, right? This is what you would say like the first minute, the high point of the music right now, right? But what happens is Awaken the heaven Right here, principles. high point. Right here, Everything epic. Everything happened so suddenly. I'm sorry. I've seen the nation strike forward and lose everything to the heavenly principles. It's fine. Even this is still fine. It's still building, but it's really epic at this point. So -called sins. For 500 years. And then here you hear that when the music cuts out right here with the punch i feel like it builds 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 this is the drop off and as soon as this drop off happens right after that it needs to start banging like so hard because of like the music it has to otherwise it gets very stale um, it's builds, builds, builds. As soon as the punch happens, the music cuts out. And then after that, I was expecting like, holy shit, this is insane. What's going on? Oh! But then I was waiting for it. But after the music comes back, it's pretty much the same. I'm not like doing this saying this is a bad video at all. I think it's a phenomenal video, but just from like a perspective of people, a person that does content edit videos, watch these epic things a lot of the time on YouTube. I feel like that's one thing that they could have changed, which probably would have made the video like 200 times better, right? Uh, so you can feel it right here. I'll play the, this whole section. It builds, builds, builds. The punch comes in right after Paimon talks, the music cuts out. And then at that point, the music should have been more fast paced or like a little bit different. You're paying the price for those so-called sins. For 500 years, you have faithfully done your duty. You'll lose everything. You, you right here. really are crazy. But Try then, I was expecting something a little bit different because you can hear the suspense rising up after the silence, but the, the music was the same. I'm like, ah, shit. But, I mean, all in all, phenomenal video. That was just like my constructive criticism to make it even better, hopefully, in the future. But uh, I'm sure... Subatai also knew, but sometimes when you're making these videos, it's hard to even push to that next level. So I completely understand, right? But yeah, good video.
But what if they intended it that way because the audience was expecting that payoff? I, 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 that, that's five head. But <laughs> that's pretty five head. If that was its intention, maybe that worked. But as far as like my expectations from that very, mo for that very moment of like one to two seconds, I'm like, oh man, like, you know what I mean? But if it was the other way, I'd be like, oh my God, it's the best shit I've ever seen. You know what I mean? <laughs> Damn, that was every that, that that was a I I feel like that was the only thing I think everything else was phenomenal. Editing's phenomenal. The music choice is good. The voice dubs perfect timing. Everything. Uh, but yeah, cool. I loved it. Hell yeah. Smiley face comment. Yay. It's similar to how Yu Peng Chen does his music scores. Yeah, yeah. It's like. It, it's it's the it's the roller coaster emotion kind of an idea it's prevalent in a lot of media you know you guys know you, i don't even have to explain this you guys can feel it without even like being told right a lot of the times listening to music watching trailers those kind of things good video that was epic hell yeah hi island have you seen reacted to a submarine submitted video already no i haven't we might watch it. We may. We may. I. Everybody keeps suggesting, so it must be really good. Mm, 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 mm. That was good. Yo, Chad, if you haven't done so already, go subscribe to Subatai. Really cool person. Phenomenal editor. And the things that I say about their editing, like are my con constructive criticism. Um... I mean, I'm just saying that from how I feel. I'm no expert, so it is what it is. You love it. All right, all right. It's, wait, is a patch live? No. Okay. Do 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 do. It's good, but it's kind of fast paced, so I had to watch it a few times. Oh, the Sumeda video. Alright. As a lower person, you'll definitely enjoy the Sumeda summary video. Chat. Okay, let's do this. I've been streaming for an hour. We take a quick five minute break. Uh, there's nothing really going on. The server's still down. So we take a small break. We come back, watch that video. And then we'll wait for the patch to open. Yeah? How does that sound? Because I think there's going to be like 20-30 minutes left. On the server, maybe, maybe 20, 30 minutes. It might just go live right now, but I'm I'm not really in a rush, so. Quick five minute break. Uh, well, I'll watch the submitted video after I come back, and then we'll play the game a little bit. <laughs> I need food. Go get food. Hell yeah. Pass should be up 11 p.m. my time yesterday. I think it's usually that time, yeah. But most of the time they go live a little bit earlier, for sure. All right, five minute break. I'll be back.
Server's up. Oh, it's up. Alright, we'll watch the video at the end then. Yay! We'll watch the video at the end, chat. The, the Sumeru video. What is going on in the new patch? Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god! TCG everywhere! And look at this. 160, 160. Wishing for Kirara. Wish me luck. Good luck. Good luck. Battle pass. Once. Okay. Once. Okay. Once. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Archon cards. Oh, what the? Wait, isn't that Tubby? Tubby? What's she doing <laughs> in the cat's tail? What's Tubby doing in the cat's tail? Wait, what? Tubby! What's up, Tubby? What you doing here, Tubby? What the? How'd you get out of the, the manifested world? What? Ah, it's you two. Yo, is Tubby gonna be playing TCG too? Oh my god, everybody's getting addicted in this world. What are you doing here? Wait, and how did you get out of the Serena teapot? You can do that? <laughs> you can do that? How did Tubby get here? I didn't expect this. It's random. I just wanted to look at the cards. Of course I can. Ah, but this is your first time seeing me outside of the teapot realm, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Although the Adepti created teapot spirits primarily to manage and maintain their teapot realms, our movements are not restricted to oh. those domains. Lore. That means Toby has something very suspicious. Some suspicious abilities. This is interesting. You might not think it's a big deal right now, chat, but it might mean something in the future. This is obvious a little bit of a spoilers for those of you who hasn't started the game yet, but I mean, I didn't expect this. Sorry about this. For instance, there's Chubby, I'm sorry, Jade Seeker, who travels far and wide to gather the rarest treasures in the land. Hmm, competition for Paimon. <sighs> but it is true that I, in contrast, rarely leave the teapot realm at all. I didn't know I needed Tubby Lord to now. I know, right? What the heck? Ah, Paimon gets it now. Huh. Well, since you so rarely leave, what's the occasion today? You, not, you're not gonna play cards, right? Indeed not. Okay. Although it may surprise you to learn that the reason I was sent here still has to do with the card game. You got her? Nice, congrats. Um, and as it happens, it has something to do with the Traveler, too. How so? Me? Well, as I'm sure you've discovered, with the rising popularity of Genius Invocation TCG, inviting a friend <clears throat> to a duel in the tavern has become a fun way to pass the time. Chat, low-key. I feel like I'm getting manipulated by... By, by, by Hoyoverse, as in, they're forcing me to like TCG, even though I kind of find it like, it's okay, but the amount of times they bring it up in the story, they're like forcing me to like it, kind of, in a way. What's up, Tim? I'll come back later, see y'all for now. Thank you, Alko. Yeah, this is a little bit of a spoiler. I appreciate you. Thank you. Hoyoverse brainwashing us. It feels that way. But I mean, I'm down for it. It's pretty good. It's decent. There's just one little problem. Many invitees currently have to travel an enormous distance to get here, turning the whole thing into quite an ordeal. I have therefore been sent here to create a little game room using the same Adeptus art as is used to construct oh, teapot realms. That makes sense. Okay. As a TCG fan, I'm fine with this. Hell yeah. 
That way, anyone with an invitation will need only to think the thought, and they will instantly appear in the game room. Oh shit, child's here! <laughs> Mr. Worldwide? The fuck is he doing here? You will be free to use the room whenever you wish to invite a friend to duel. And it will be far more straightforward for them to take you up on the offer. Oh, so this is like their way of like incorporating other region characters into the cattails without making it feel awkward or random. I see. That's a good way of setting up the story like that. Okay. Wow! This will make things much easier! But what if Margaret finds out? She's not going to get mad at you for renovating her tavern with your Adeptus Arts, is she? Um, that shouldn't be a problem, since the realm will not be physically located within the cat's tail. Besides, we obviously sought the owner's permission in advance. Mm-hmm. As long as it's not story spoiler, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, for sure. This is probably like a little tidbit, like small introduction thing. I don't think it's a too big of a deal, but it is surprising. None the least seeing Tubby out here randomly. She was quite enthusiastic. Oh, Li Yue's Adepti art sound pretty useful. Could you double the size of the tavern while you're at it? <laughs> Unfortunately, my mastery of Adeptus arts is not sufficient to achieve this. Huh. Yeah, that does sound like something Margaret would say. Anyway, it's great that you're here. I was expecting to have to wait until your next visit to the teapot realm to fill you in. I'm sorry, Tubby. I haven't played in like three months. Sorry. I missed you, Tubby. <laughs> right then. Let's get started. Tubby uses her adoptive art to remodel the tavern. Okay, that should do it. That's cute. Over to you. Now you can invite friends to duel with you in this room wherever in the world they are. I hope it serves you well. Nice. Oh, and I almost forgot. A guy from the tavern wanted me to say this to you. Hope you will have fun playing Genius Invocation TCG. Which guy said that? Okay. There you go. A little bit of a cute introduction. I have a fucking child's here. Nobody in this room. Not yet, anyway. Nobody here. Is there, is there any changes upstairs? That'd be so cute. I know. Alright, let me look at the cards. Meow. Anything? Oh shit! They added so many cards. Wait, what is this? What is this? When a character uses elemental skill or equips a talent, if the character has at least at least two energy, normal attack elemental skill will deal one plus damage. Oh wow! After characters switch to the active character during this round, deals 1 plus normal damage. So this is for character swapping meta. That's that's cool. I'd probably use this card. Yeah, these are new cards. 2 shield points after character takes damage. Create 1 elemental die. Tanky, tanky, tanky artifact. After another character uses the elemental burst, character attached with this gains one energy. This is... Oh my gosh. Okay. They're making things very more complex now. Which is good. The damage dealt by the character's elemental burst is increased by 2. Nice. So, 3 new artifacts set. More weapons. Oh my god, the bell made it into the game. <laughs> Deals plus one damage! After using skill, get one shield! Fucking the bell made it into TCG. <laughs> oh, the elegy's here too! 
Elemental Burst create Millennium Movement. Deals one increased damage for two durations. Two rounds. Better than the actual weapon. And then the 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 R and R thingy. Plus one damage. Triggers elemental reaction. Deal one plus damage twice per round. There should be one more weapon. Yeah, I figured. Wait, is that it? No, it's this. Yeah, it's the Archon. They they added a couple more weapons on top of the Archon weapons. Like this is for May, not May. A plus one damage once per round. If a character which is attached does not have energy, they will gain one energy. Like yeah, like a like a battery. Nice shield for vortex vanquisher. Plus one plus shield. Is the almost bow new? It is? Okay. Okay. So, Inazuma artifact. Inazuma artifact. Inazuma artifact. All right, cool. Oh my gosh, she made it into the game, baby. When's she playable? <laughs> When's Rana actually playable? We're getting one step closer every day. Oh shit, yo, look at the vision. Oh, dog. <laughs> Damn, after your character uses an elemental skill, create one element to die the same type as your next off-field character. Next, so the one on the right. So if I use this, the character that's on the right of my active character, that element will be given. Okay. It sounds cool. Two costs, that's pretty good, I think. Wait, dude, there's so many new cards. Okay, hold on. Oh my god, Seelie. After a character uses a skill, one treasure clue. When a car, car has stored three treasure clues, discard this card and draw three cards. Holy! <laughs> this is a one cost? Am I crazy? This sounds really good. You just one cause, you throw it on there. After character uses a skill, you're gonna use skills a lot. So in three turns, you get three free cards. For one cost? For one cost? If it was zero, it would be overpowered. One cost is pretty decent, I think. That's pretty good. It's kind of slow, but good. Yeah, it's like a setup card. Red Feather Fan. After you switch characters, the next switch character action you perform this round will be considered a fast action. Double attacks on the same turn? Is that what I'm looking at here? What was that one card? Was it Catherine? Yeah, when you perform switch characters, it's considered fast action. So you couple that with this. Fast action plus... The next switch character action you perform round will be considered. Oh, it kind of replaces Catherine. Because this is also does the same thing. And then it ha has the additional value of attacking again. And then you couple that with... What's that one card? Yeah. When you perform switch character, spend one less element to die. So basically, you couple this with this. And then your switching is essentially free and you double attack on the same turn. So doesn't that mean this essentially replaces Catherine? Except it is one extra cost, which makes sense. It costs more, yeah. 
Catherine used to be too cost, right? They they buffed it. I I think it was too cost. It used to be. Maybe I'm crazy. That's what you mean, right? She Yeah, she used to be one cost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good balancing thing. Yeah, okay. I can I can I can vibe with that. Lower the cost of Catherine, make a card that replaces Catherine that's a little bit better, but it's more cost. She used to be two with any dice, right. And then they, they just made it one. Alright. Rana, right? We saw this earlier. Dunyazard! Wow, everybody's making it into the game, man. When performing a companion support card, spend one less elemental die. Ah, that's okay. That's, that's okay. I mean, you essentially get a refund because it's a one cost card. Shudong? Playing food cards, spend two less elemental dice. Anybody build like a deck that is related to like food a lot? I know some people do. I never tried a food deck. But this might be good for that specific deck. You did? Isn't food deck usually like just for sustaining? And then just like out sustaining the other side? And then you just piss them off? <laughs> Every time I play against the food, uh, I- what's it called? Food engine? Okay. Uh, yeah, that pisses me off. Kid Kujirai. When the action phase begins, create one Omni element. Then if your opponent's support zone is not if your opponent's support zone is not full, transfer this card to your opponent's support zone. <laughs> oh dude, this is such an interesting card. It goes on to that side. It keeps going back and forth like you're playing ball. <laughs> but why would I ever use this card? I would never want to help the other person. Maybe there's a use for this. Basically, you place this on your support zone, you get one Omni element, the next turn they get it, and then they get an Omni element. Wait, does the effect also work? Yeah, it also works for them. It, it, it wouldn't make sense if it didn't work for them. It's a zero cost, you're right. You would only I think this this is extremely good if the other person using like a like a big support card deck. That's the that's the best part about this, right? You would only use this as long as their support zone is full. They have like a lot of support buffs going on so that it doesn't transfer over and you keep this for yourself. That is the only like that is the best case scenario with this card. Oh, it also does prevent placing more cards. You're right. But then it will come back to me. After their turn ends. Just got Amazon Cat with 24... <laughs> Amazon Cat. Congrats, yo. This is an interesting card. This is the kid that um Alice taught how to play this ball game to, right? If I remember the lore. Like, I forgot what the game was called, but Alice brought, like, a game with the ball from, like, another world and it taught this kid or whatever. Tamari. Yeah, yeah, that thing. Right. Kimari? Hey, it's the fox girl. Hana Chiru Sato. When summon- when a summon disappears, this card gains one cleansing ritual. That's so cool. Like, it's related to lore like that. What the heck? I'm not nerd for story, so that's that's so cool. It makes sense. When a summon disappears, card gains one cleansing ritual. Max three. When you play a weapon or artifact card, if you already have three cleansing ritual in progress, discard this card and use this card to... Discard this card and cause the card you play to cost two less elemental dice. It's a zero cost, so I can see that it could be useful. If it was anything more than a zero cost, I would never use this card.
Because, like, the whole thing with summons, yeah, it's it's probably good on the summon deck. But there's, like, three parts to this. You have to have a summon deck. You have to build it up. And then you have to place the weapon or artifact. After the three, three stacks. So there's, like, a lot of conditions that you need to meet with this card. But it is a zero call, so it's still pretty well balanced, I would say. Chinju Forest. When action phase begins, if you do not start first, create one element to die matches a type of your active character. That's pretty good. There are a lot of cases when I'm like always forcing myself to end the turn before the other other person so that I go immediately because that's like the best part about it, taking the turn earlier than the other person. But this card kind of allows me to get something for not pushing not forcing myself to end the turn earlier some quality of life in inventory too oh is there i'm gonna check it out dude i like this patch more tcg stuff vanarana vanarana collect up to two unused elemental dice when the action phase begins reclaim the dice you collected using this card Wait, this is... Wait, who was it? Was it Timaeus? No. It's... It's Leven. Oh, this is drawing cards. Was Leven always zero cost? He was, right? That's why he was OP. This is a good card. Yeah, he was zero cost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a quality of life update with gadget quick swap. Oh! Shit. You know, in hindsight, this card might be really good. Because there's so many more support uh, cards now. That a lot of the times, the other player will have a full support zone. So you just use this for zero cost and fucking like, just always keep it on your side. You're like ball hogging. What's up, what's up? Hello, welcome in. Sumeru City, when your character uses a skill or equips a talent, if you do not have more elemental dice than your cards in your hand, spend one. What the heck? I feel like this is a bad card. The condition is very niche. Or situation, I should say. But then, it's a two-cost card. Maybe I have to try this out to have a more feel for it. It looks very inefficient. It feels like they added so much depth to TCG to something. Yeah, yeah. As they should. If they're if they're trying to make an entire patch based on TCG, chat. What do you think about this card? Bad, good, mid. Basically, when you user when your character uses a skill or equips a talent card, if you have more cards in your hand, if you have more dice than your hand, which is usually the case. I don't remember a time where a lot of times, like 80% of the time, I always have less than like one or two cards in my hand. Right? Is that just me? When you play through like multiple rounds, eventually you get to a point where you're just top decking. Right? I'm, I'm not the only one, right? Like first two or three rounds, you blast, like you blow all your cards. And then after that, you're basically top decking throughout the entire like fight. So I guess the situation is, is, it is useful in that regard when you get to that point. If you do not have more elemental dice in, in your hand. Wait, what? If you do not have more elemental dice, if you do not. 
So, most of the time, I will have more elemental dice. So, this is very situational. Like, very, very small cases. You need to trigger at least two times, two turns to break even. And you lost at least one draw and one card slide in your deck. That is a good point. This is probably going to be a really hard card to use. Especially it being a two cost. Yeah, I don't know about this one. This card is useless. I do feel like I would never use this card unless it's very specific niche strategy. I don't know what that would be, but I'm sure people can come up with something. But is it worth going through all the trouble to use this card for that? At that point, you're just like building your deck around this card. Not like your character. So it's kind of weird. Hmm. Sangonomiya. End phase. Heal. What the fuck? That's pretty simple. Two usage. Wasn't there another card that heals? Was it this one? Oh, it's this one. The Cathedral. Oh, this is your active character. 2 HP active character. 2 cost, 2 usage. 2 cost, 2 usage. Heal all your character. So maximum you can get 3 heals. Or 3 HP combined. That's... Yeah, okay. I'd rock with it. Is it even already out or the, just the new cards? I'm not sure. I have no idea. I just came into the card shop immediately. This is better, I think, more useful. It is, but there are some times where your character is already at max HP, so the heal doesn't go off, right? It's never the case where you can go beyond 10 HP. It's just not possible. That's not the mechanic. So I think it's still a good card, but in an event where like you're not really taking damage on your other characters because you're not really playing like a swap character situation, it might not be useful, but there are situations where they, this card would be useful. Okay. It's alright. Narukami Shrine. Trigger automatically once per round. Creates one random basic elemental dice. Two cause, three usage. Alright. It's kind of okay. Tenjukaku. When the action phase begins, if you have five different kinds of elemental die. Create one Omni element. <laughs> Would I ever... This is not new? Is this not new? This card? Is this not new? I haven't played TCG in like 2-3 patches. So some of these are still kind of new if they added it. For me anyway. Okay, so this is not this patch. Oh, this is new? Oh, this is not new. Okay. Chat, is there any time in your TCG career where you accept a dice roll with five different kinds of elements? <laughs> I never... I don't think I've ever... <laughs> is there a usage for situations like that? Sometimes the dice hates me. I understand. That does happen. It's just... That's not the goal. Right? It does happen because it's RNG, but that's not what we want. <laughs> so is this card like basically a band-aid card? Or is it like a setup or something? It feels like a band-aid card. I don't know. It's an insurance card. I would not use this card because it's too cost. It's too much for that odd cases. Maybe once per match. Or once or twice per match that does happen. Unless there is a deck where you set it up to be that way for a certain reason. If that's the situation, it's useful. But other than that, I don't know. It's for us unlucky Bennett's. Fair enough. 
All right. Cool addition, dude. I like. I love this card. I love this fucking card. Okay, and then Vanarana, Vanarana. I think this is the best card. Uh, for like the new ones, out of all the new ones, this is crazy. Zero cost. You save two dice, for to set up on your next turn. This one and then the red feather. These two are very good cards. This is just a little bit costly, but considering Catherine, it, it makes sense. Alright, event cards. What we got here? Who the hell is this? Oh! <laughs> but this isn't the game! How long did it take? Two and a half years? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Holy shit! That makes me so happy. What? <laughs> you know what's interesting? Anybody remember that one uh, long time ago, the video that Genshin Impact released where Vanessa was like sitting at the desk and talking to Venti? I don't remember her outfit being similar to the outfit wearing she's wearing now. Look at this. If I can, if I can do this. There you go. Look at this. You see this outfit? Weirdly, it looks like the Luke's outfit. So are they connected? That's kind of sauce. Huh. It was the back and it was a chair, so it would be hard to see. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I, yeah, it, it's possible. What does the card even do anyway? Create four basic elemental dice of different types. Is this a good card? It's a three cost for four random dice, so it's technically you're coming out more than even, but the dice are different. But I guess it maybe doesn't matter because a lot of the cards don't need the same. A lot of the action cards don't need the same elements to be used. Use three dice of the same type. That is true. That's a little bit weird. Unless you lose the dice roll and you get like three electro with three electro dice when you don't have fucking three electro anything related related to electro. In that case, it would be very useful, right? You get an extra dice and then you get a chance to get the element that you want. Interesting. Okay. It's very it's so situational. I think we I'm I'm biased. Maybe I'll end up using What the fuck is this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, we got some foods. Honestly, foods I'm not really too interested in. They're just like healing stuff, buffing stuff. It's pretty pretty, you know. We know all we know about food. It's nothing new, the idea of food, it's just buffs, HPs, yep, yep. I'm more interested in like the the new cards that actually have very specific cases. Oh my god, Kaching. Kazuha Switch to the target character. That character then uses a normal attack. Damn. The egg revives?
Oh, it's not once per match, it's once per round. That is costly though. Three dice? That is pretty costly. But I can see where you might need this. It might be hinged on like win or lose in certain situations. Does it revive the alt up? I would assume that the alt resets the counter. Just like in the game when your character dies before using alt and then you revive them and their alt's gone. I would assume it works the same way. Right? Zombie deck. <laughs> That's interesting. I never thought that I'd ever revive. Yo. Okay, I'll go. I'll, I'll, I'll look at the archons in a second. Or their, their special cards. We've seen these before. Fatui Conspiracy. Is this new? Creates one summon. Oh, it's just a summon card. Hmm. Yeah, okay. That is new? Okay. We have another Kaching card. Heavy Strike. During this round, your current active character's next normal attack deals 1 plus damage. When this normal attack is a charged attack, deal 1 additional damage. Oh! That's cool. Could be used for, like, clean and stuff. One cost? Not bad. I'm so happy Vanessa's in the game. <laughs> so we got Venti, Yongli, A, Nahi Nahi. Why the fuck does Yongli cost three? I, I, I will figure it out. Okay, so we got Raiden, zero cost. Convert all your elemental dice to the type of the act. Oh my god, that's why the other card exists! <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. That's why Vanessa exists. <laughs> oh my god, and it's zero cost. <laughs> it's literally a battery. Convert all your elemental dice to the type of active character. <laughs> zero cost. Holy shit! <laughs> oh wait, 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 there's a, there's a little parenthesis here. You must have at least two Inazuma character. That's, a, that's the catch. That's the catch. You must have at least two Inazuma characters. I mean, but aren't there a lot of Inazuma characters that are good? How many Inazuma characters are there? We got... 1, 2... 3... Oh, Yoimiya, right. 4, 5... 6... 7... 7... That's like... That's like... Or, yeah, seven. Seven. That's a good, uh... That's a good amount. Bro, I have a deck with Ayato, Ayaka, and Kokomi. That's perfect. There you go. Eight? Did I miss Ayato? Oh, is the... Is this... Is this... Is this guy... Is this guy considered an Inazuma character? I guess it is. Technically, it's a character. Alright, yeah, eight. Mm. Alright, if that's A, what's there, what are the, what's Venti? In this round, when an opposing character is defeated during your action, you can continue to act again when that action. <laughs> So 
So this is kind of mm, I I can see situations where this can be useful. I can see it. But <clears throat> I think eight cards is better. Yeah, it's a follow up attack, yeah. I think I think A's card is better. Am I am I crazy? Cause this also has the at least two monster -like characters in your deck uh catch. Yeah, basically you have to kill somebody on the other side. And then you can just go again. But it has to be... Yeah, okay. That's alright. One die, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. It is it is one usage though, so it's just that one time, but... I mean, you would all... Any more usage would probably be very hard anyway, because there is no case where you can kill three characters all within like one consecutive thing. Assuming... There is a limit on how many dice you can hold. So, like, you're not going to have many actions you can do. Because there is a dice count to consider. Mm, okay. Nahi, Nahi. Draw one card. After that, switch any card in your hand. Draw one card. Switch any cards in your hand. What does that mean? Am I switching it with the card that I drew? What does that mean? I like to draw one card for one cost. What if you decide to not swap it? Does the card you draw go back to the top of the deck? Or does it go into the trash can? Probably easier to test. Yeah, maybe I'll test it. This looks interesting. I would guess that the way it works is you draw a card and you decide if you want to use it by swapping it with the card in your hand. But there are a couple questions like, what if you don't have a card in your hand? Or does this card work as in like, you draw a card and you switch a card with a different card in, the, in your deck? What happens if you don't want to switch the card? Does this card, does the card you draw go back to the top or the graveyard? A lot of things. It's plural meaning as many as you have. I'm gonna have to test this out to see how this works. It is one cost, so at least just drawing the card. To in my mind, drawing one card is equal to like I think drawing one card for one cost is a little bit too much. I think there was that one card that helps you draw. How much did that cost? Um which card was it? Chat, what was the card that lets you just draw a card? Yeah, the Kokomi card. Okay, yeah, the Kokomi card. Where, where's Kokomi card? There it is. One cost, draw two cards. One cost draw one card with this plus effect. I don't know how that works with the condition of having at least two Sumeru characters. I'm gonna have to try it and see how that feels. There's a lot of questions. Let's look at Zhongli. Three cost. What kind of shenanigans is in there? Three cost. Not the same type of dice, but three different dice. When the action phase of the next round begins. So it's a setup card. 
You throw away three elements that's not your elements. Let's say you have three elements that you can't really use for bad luck. And then you just set it off for the next round by making three Omni Element. Basically a better Paimon. Oh fuck. Am I blind? Wait, what? What the fuck is Paimon? Oh, it's not in the shop. Oh, 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 oh. Makes sense. What was Paimon's thing? There's two Paimon cards. One's use two dice to get three dice, I think. And one is you place it and every round you get like dice or something. Or something like that. I mean, I still think Paimon card is better. No? I think Paimon card is still better. But... This is more of a... Mm, interesting. But Paimon records three of the same dice. Oh yeah, hold on. Let me check. So there's this card. Three cost, two Omni. But this is two usage. This is the better Paimon card. This card is actually really fucking good. But it's, I, I guess it could be seen as somewhat even, but it does cost three of the same dice. And the fact that Zhongli is, is the requirement of having two leeway characters, Paimon's still better, I think. Because technically you're getting four, Element cards, plus without that one condition of leeway characters. Uh, but where's the other Paimon card? This is even this even this is still better. <laughs> even this is still better. It's one to one exchange. Two non, two mo like different element dice to get two omni elements but this is like immediate you don't have to wait for the next round and then there's no condition for leeway characters this one is 2 op yeah this one's really good the jolly card is it's decent i think it's decent but i think it's not that crazy um out of all the archon support cards a is probably the best um, I see a lot of potential with the A's card because there's a lot of setups you can do with the how you build a deck. And then probably Nahida because that one-to-one -one exchange with this additional effect, depending on how that goes. How am I only useful in TCG? <laughs> Yo, that's fucked up. Come on. <laughs> Chat, come on. Dude, I don't know how... I don't know why people hate on Paimon so much. I love Paimon. Maybe it's just me, but... Man. You know how many times I hear, like, content creators? Like, some of them, they always, like, bash on Paimon. And I feel, like... I feel really sad inside. Because I think Paimon is great. People say she's annoying, but I don't find her annoying at all. Pom Pom over Paimon. I don't know. I don't know. I like Paimon, but the start of the game is too much. I agree the start of the game, but like you give her like a little bit of time, she grows on you, you know? Like with an open mind. Okay, these are like the some of the cards. Card backs. That's cool. 
character cards. I want to... Okay, obviously. Can I look at their stats here? Chat, what's the best way to look at card, like character card um, st effects and stuff? Without having them. Did I go to like the bulletin board or whatever? I think I, I think I go to the bulletin board, right? That's the best way. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Let's find out. What is this room? What? This looks so cool. I I I just wanted to I'll 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 invite her later, but I just wanted to invite her. Oh my god, what the fuck is that room? I just wanted to invite her and unlock it. Oh. <gasps> I didn't know she was added to the game! <laughs> when did she get added? <laughs> it was this match. I had no idea they're adding her to the game! <laughs> oh my god. Well, you know who I'm maining. Let me let me see her. Let me see her. What does she do? Let me see her little thing. I don't mind her being a basic character. I actually prefer that. That way, I just utilize skill rather than OPness. Uh, sharpshooter, normal attack deals two damage. Physical damage. Baron Bunny, summon one Baron Bunny. What does the Baron Bunny do? That's cute. Look at the little image. When your character deals, t when your when your active character takes damage, decrease damage. Take what? Oh right, because it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a substitute. Um, usage one. When the usage are depl depleted, this card will not be dis would not be discarded. After the end of phase, if your usage has been depleted, this card, this card to deal two. Dude, Amber's good. Decrease my di two damage, and it blows up to do two damage. It does cost three, but in a summon deck. Oh my, oh my. I mean, she's not the best character. I know that for a fact because there's so many different characters in TCG that are actually bonkers. But, yo, for what I was expecting for Amber, this is good. Oh, Fiery Rain. Deals two pyro damage, deals two piercing damage to all opposing characters. Isn't piercing damage the one that, uh. Yeah, it goes through. Wow! It costs three, but it's only two, two uh, energy. So you could probably like get this out quick, couple times before um the end of the match. Ember got justice. You could technically get Ember's ult off in like round one, 
with couple cards in the cu couple cards you might want to use for deck building. Oh, what I need to see is her little perk thingy. What? <laughs> you see this shit? What is this? What is this? <laughs> oh, it's cute. What the fuck? Wait, let me let me let me do this. There you go. Oh, maybe I could just uh blow it up so it's easier to see. Or maybe yeah. Is that a little better compared to this? Yeah, that's way better. Okay, let me use this. Wait, is it the same if I click the character? Yeah. Okay, cool. Bunny triggered. <clears throat> Combat action. When your active character is Amber, equip this card. After Amber equip this card, immediately use explosive puppet once. The Baron Bunny, right? Wait, explosive puppet? Yeah, summons. It's the skill for summoning Baron Bunny, right? After you use a normal attack, if this card and Baron Bunny are still on the field. So you would want to use this card and then normal attack. Do 3 pyro damage. That's not bad. It's not the best, but it's not bad. Am I going to do Yoimiya's quest today? I'll probably wait on Yoimiya's quest to... Hmm. We might actually just do it tomorrow because chat, you told me the event, the main event for this patch for Genshin Impact is not till Thursday, right? That's what you were telling me. I was expecting that to happen tomorrow. That's why I kind of like kept the tomorrow stream title and thumbnail kind of vague with like Fontaine lore, maybe. So maybe that hint associated with like the event. Maybe we'll just do Yoimiya's quest tomorrow. Just kind of replace the thumbnail and the title. Because I didn't know that the event starts Thursday. I thought it was going to start today. What do you think, chat? Do you think it's too spoilerish? Like, do you think you guys have enough time to do Yoimiya's quest tomorrow? Or buy it tomorrow? I know that it's spoilers and I know like I'm asking you to basically go do it and speed run it before I do it. But since we're, there's like the, not an event thing going on anyway, you might as well knock that out. Yeah, well, okay. I know I feel a little bad, but it's Yoimiya. So maybe we'll do Yoimiya's uh, thing tomorrow. It should be fine since you're doing it at night. That's true. Yeah, we'll do Yoimiya's uh, story quest tomorrow. I think that's really fun. Okay. Amber Puggers. Invite. There goes all my invitations. Okay, let's see who will come out on top this time. I'm not fighting right now, Amber. She's so... <laughs> Oh my god, this room. Holy, man. Uh, this music is so soothing, too. Normally, the events don't start until Thursday after patch. Is that true? I wasn't paying attention enough. Maybe I forgot because I haven't played in so long. Alright, tomorrow we'll do Yoimiya's quest. So, who tells new A chat? Where is the new line start? It's Shenha new. I know Tainari was here before. I'm assuming all the characters after Shenha, if not starting with Shenha, is new. She is new. So all these characters right here, without Tainari, is new. And then the two characters I invited. Okay, a lot of, okay, a lot of reading to do. I 
I'm going to I'm going wait. I'm going to keep Nahida for last. <laughs> Yo, let's, let's start reading. What are these characters? Shenha. <clears throat> Dunstar Piercer, one cost, two physical damage. Oh no, three cost. I didn't see the second part here. Three cost, two physical damage. Spirit summoning, creates one icy quill. Right, it's the thingy that flies around her or whatever. Deals cryo damage, summons one talisman spirit. The summon character. Opponent character takes plus one cryo, cryo damage and physical damage. So is that plus two? That that gadget quicks up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I I was told. I'm I haven't checked it out yet. I will. Shanna looks pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. It's pretty straightforward. Hmm. Okay. What's your little extra thing? When you're active character, Shanna equip this. Uh, immediately use Spring Spirit Summoning. Is that the ult? Oh, this, that's her ability. Okay. <clears throat> when the ice core created. Its usage will not decrease once per round. Okay. Not bad. Child. Two physical damage. Switch to melee, me melee, melee stance. Why is there so many effects? Oh, it's a charge attack. Or it has a... Oh my god, why is it so complicated? Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> let me let me take this in. Switch to melee stance, deal 2 hydro damage. Melee stance. Physical damage is converted to hydro damage. After the character uses charge attack, apply Riptide to target character. I'm assuming the charge attack function is explained later. Physical damage will not apply any elements, nor it can... In okay. After skills are used against character affected by Riptide, deal one piercing damage. It's like a stack damage on top of each other. Oh, he does have a Fatui tag. That's cool. That is cool. This is the char- uh, Wait, this is the charge- Wait, what the fuck? This is the ult. Performs different attacks based on the current stance that Tartaglia is in. Range stance. Deals 4 Hydra damage. Reclaims two energy. What? And apply Riptide. You're telling me I'm using three energy to ult, but then I it's essentially one energy? Is this normal? <laughs> I don't feel like that's normal. Melee stance. Deal seven, seven hydro damage. Child isn't normal. <laughs> oh, that's pretty crazy. This is the same for his gameplay. Yo, I feel like this is ridiculous. 
One energy, I understand. Two? Dude, you can alt get two energy. I mean, it technically is not that crazy because it's four damage. But then it applies Riptide, which like kind of snowballs. Like with the charge attack and shit later. Okay. Does the melee stand seven damage? That sounds very, you know, like expected, but not all this. Damage is damage, true. Damn. Okay, passive skill. When the battle begins, this character gains range stance. Once the melee stance attached to the character ends. Okay, so he always reverts to range stance. So... <clears throat> so realistically this the range stance alt is the main alt that you'll probably use but if you want to do more damage without all this then what you need to do is go into melee stance but because of the passive he will always start with ranged so to get into the melee stance you have to use your use your fucking skill that costs three and then additional three plus three energy to get off the seven damage. That's kind of stupid. I would always use the range stance ult. Alt E auto attack. Right, 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 because it applies Riptide. And then you would use that with this, uh... This. Right, so you would just do a regular alt. The next turn, you would get... You will be put into... Ranged. But if you use this, the next turn, you will go into melee stance, which affects with Re Riptide. And then by then you have another fucking energy because you already have two energy you fucking recharged. That makes sense, I think. Right? You build your energy, you alt, you get two energy back. The very next turn you use your skill. You do the Riptide effect, plus one energy you're gonna get from it, and the next turn you fucking ult again, and just go keep going back and forth. So basically, once a child gets to the ultimate state, you're fucked. He's just gonna destroy you. <laughs> but then if you wanna do like a finishing blow, then you do it kind of backwards. You save up six energy, you do E, and then you ult for the seven damage. That's crazy. What the heck? The fuck is this little effect then? Wait, file legacy. Okay, that's his E or his skill. He seems a little complicated because of the text, but it's very simple. And it's kind of like face roll. You get to your three energy and you just clear house. All right, let's check out a hotel. I hope hotel is not as complicated as child. Okay. Two physical damage. <clears throat> Guide to afterlife. This character gains Paramita Papli. Papilio. The character to which this is attached has their physical damage dealt converted to pyro damage. Makes sense. They'll deal plus one additional or plus one pyro damage. When the character to which this is attached uses charge attack, apply blood blossom to the target character. The fuck is blood blossom?
Physical damage will not apply any elements, nor can it engage in elemental reactions. Here it is. End phase, deal 1 pyro damage to the character which is attached. Each time you reach the end of the round, duration rounds minus 1. Before your act- Why- a oh, charge attack here. Charge attack. Oh my god. Before your action phase, should the total number of your- Oh yeah, because it's um, even. That's how charge attack works. When you have even amount of dice. Okay. Deals 4 pyro damage. Heal herself for 2 HP. If this character HP is no more than 6, damage dealt and healing are increased by 1. Makes sense. Like a regular character. Blood Blossom is the mark she leaves on the enemy when she does charge the- Yeah, yeah. In the game, yeah. But I guess it's reflected here. You're saying she's just hard to beat because what? It's because she heals herself? Man, a if... HP no more than 6. Like, character less than 6 HP is still usable. They can still do quite a lot. She heals too much. Hu Tao, Chung Yun, and Sing Chu. Oh my god. Oh my god. You look at this card, right, chat? And like, think about that composition. And then on the other side of the table, there's me. With Amber. <laughs> it's like... It's like... David versus Goliath. I'm sitting there with Amber, like, Baron, buddy, go! And then they're on the other side, there's all this fucking combo going on. I'm like, ah, uh, <laughs> You got this, Baron, buddy. <laughs> Shit. Immediate user skill. Right, okay. You still haven't been there? She destroyed me three times? Damn, you really want Hu Tao, huh? Was that your first character you invited? Like, after the patch? TCG still, A? Eh? Yeah, we're probably just gonna, like, read all the cards. And just, like, try a couple decks. Because I didn't realize that there's not, like, any events going on today. She beat me five times already? Holy... Okay. Huh? Alright, we'll check out the Archons in a second. Let's go with Xiao. Two physical damage. Animal damage. Do four animal damage. This game this character gains Yaksha's mask. When this character when the character to which this is attached uses plunge attack. Two additional damage. This is this He's pretty straightforward. Xiao's pretty straightforward. Am I the only one who likes collecting all the cards more than playing TCG itself? I like collecting it as well, but then I realized to collect them all, I have to play, so... <laughs> but I mean, for playing, the, playing TCG is still pretty chill. I don't do it every day, obviously, but every time... I go through this phase. Every now and then, I'm like, yo, I want to play some TCG. So I start playing for like two, three days straight. I'm like, yo, this shit's fun. And then after two, three days, I'm like, all right, I got to go do other things right now. And then it kind of recycles. It comes back every few weeks. Just like it's gameplay straightforward and easy. Good for me because I'm stupid. You're not stupid. It's simple. He's simple, though. I like that he's simple. I'm a collector, too. Let's go. All right. Uh, while Yaksha Mask is attached, your use of Lemnistan will cost less. Okay. Nothing too crazy. But, efficiency wise, it's similar with other characters. His alt is two cost, that's good. I love seeing characters that have alts that are two cost. Three costs takes- it feels like three costs takes forever, but two costs is so much- 
It's so fast. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just plus one more energy. But there, it's like night and day between two energy ults and three energy ults in my experience for some reason. His E uses less die. This? Is that true? Oh, hers is two. Holy shit. That's eh, similar. That's why I use energy cards. Yeah, I tried building a deck with energy cards too, for because I because of that reason and specific specifically. Yeah, yeah. One electro damage. Summons a little totem. Three usage can stack max six stacks. What? Okay, that's pretty expensive though. Or well, I mean, the same with a lot of people, but... When you declare the end of your round, if the summon has at least four usages... Remaining... Do you want electro damage? What happens if it falls under four usage? Huh? Okay, maybe if I read the other part, it'll tell me. Burst! For electro damage, if your side of the field has the totem, destroy it and use Tenko Thunderbolt. Yeah, okay. That's a lot. So you're, you summon skill two times to get six stacks. I think that's what it is. Oh, that makes sense. Basically, if the summon has at least four, like four, five, six, right? It starts doing damage, but in an event, it goes below four, like three, two, one. It doesn't really do anything. It just sits there. You basically get three turns of it just sitting there for the alt, I guess. Wait, no, 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 I'm, I'm stupid. It doesn't matter. Every usage is one damage. I'm so stupid. Every usage is one damage, and this is a separate thing. It's just another additional effect. I'm so dumb. Okay, so every usage is one deal, one electro damage, but... I'm assuming it just does one more. If it's more than four usages. That makes sense. Yeah, one additional damage. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, okay. Can you summon more than one? This is considered some. Yeah, you can. Could each. No, wait. Because it stacks. I don't know. Uh, maybe not, because that's too OP. It seems like the totem just refreshes if you like summon another or adds an additional stack. Obviously, that's how that works. Okay. And then if you have it, you it does four fucking damage with the ult. Okay. Two cost ult. You add more stacks? Yeah, I think so. I think so, because otherwise, if it's like another totem, think about it. Then you have two totem, and when you ult, that means you fucking... <laughs> Just from the totem itself, how much damage would that be? You know what I mean? That's six damage. If their totems are two separate things. Yeah, okay. Two energy in TCG, but 90 energy in game. <laughs> mm, 
maybe they gotta change that. <clears throat> All right. Archons. We'll go in the order of release in the actual game. Venti. Two physical, two animal. Creates one storm zone. When you perform a switch character spins. Ah, okay. You can get the same effect from a card with less cost. But I mean, it does damage. So, okay. Situational. Deals two animal damage. Summons one storm eye. End phase. Deal two animal damage. Your opponent switches to character closest to your current active character. Your opponent. So it's a disruption. Dis disruption for the opponent. Similar to Skruko Skull, I suppose. Yeah, I think so. The storm zone is for you, right? And then the alt is disruption for them. Two alt costs, too. The damage is low, but it's an animal, so I understand because there's swirls and shit. It's alright. It's alright. Zhongli! I'm assuming he has a lot of shield stuff. Two physical damage, deal one geo damage, summon stone steel. Oh, this thing. It's, it radiates. It vibrates and deals damage, I guess. He has four skills. I guess in the game he does two. Where this is a shield. Or you can hold your skill button. And it does something different. Deals 3 Geo damage. Summons 1 Stone Seal. Creates 1 Jade Shield. Tap and hold. Yeah. Yeah. That's a 5 calls. Let's see. Is this efficient? 3 damage. Summons st Stone Steel. 2 usage. So you get 2 damage out of it. And you get you get a shield that absorbs two shield two damage for five cost. I guess it's not that bad. It's five damage overall, and then you get two shield absorption. Can use charge attack cost 5 too? Yeah. Okay. Uh, deals 4 geo damage. 3 cost. 3 energy. Target character receives petrification. They probably can't use. Yeah. Alright. Classic of Geo. Geo daddy. Classic John Lee. Not bad. So far, Venti and Zhongli, they're true to their form. Nothing too crazy. Let's check out A. Her her support card is fucking busted. How is the character? Two physical damage. I have storm judgment. Wait, she also has four skills. Hold on. Venti got scammed. You still haven't checked the boss and enemy cards yet? Yeah, true. Venti got scammed. I have Stormy Judgment. Three usage, one damage. When the summon is on the field, your character deals your character's burst. Elemental burst deals one damage. Plus one damage. Your characters. Makes sense. It's a follow-up damage in the game too. Three costs. Alt, oh, this is a passive skill. Alt 4 and 2. 4 and 2? 
two energy. Deals three electro damage. All of your other characters gain. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo. I think it's general A's OP. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> You're spending two energy to get four. <laughs> I'm assuming this is all of your other characters, not including A, gets two energy each. Bro, imagine you just start the so you start the deck with A and you just give her fucking that that one card that gives them energy right off the bat and then you just fucking start off with the ult and now you have two other characters there happens to be which happens to be their ult cost two so now you have all ults ready I don't think so one each you think it's one each The way it's worded it makes it sound like they both get two energy. All of your other characters gain two energy. I mean, shit. Two each? I tested already? That's fucking insane. That's insane. That's insane! Look at her chat. Look at her face. She looks like there's a reason why she's so good. She looks like she's about to murder everyone. <laughs> Look at her. I know it's four cost, but that means nothing. Considering what it does. <laughs> considering what this does, that four cost means absolutely nothing. That's why Yai costs two. Oh shit. She's gonna get end up getting nerfed in the future. Dude, I think Raiden Shogun is the meta. Like already, it seems like she's solidified as a meta. Because it's so important building energy on characters for alt. And it accelerates the entire process. With like two or maybe three other support cards that help help that. This makes me kind of sad that <laughs> Jongling and Venti got, they got shafted. They got scammed. This game is A impact. <laughs> Shit. All right, what's her passive? When the battle begins, this character gains Chakra Desiderata. After your other character gains elemental burst, gain one resolve, max three. When the character to which this is attached uses a secret art, Muso Chinsetsu, consume all resolve and deal one damage per resolve. Muso, her alt, right? More damage from the alt. I mean, that's pretty obvious. Like, just like the game, just more damage. Three max stacks, three resolve, three damage. Other characters, so this doesn't include herself, obviously. So, basically, realistically speaking, you ult the first time, right? And then your other characters have their ults ready, so you use both, so you would get two resolves. And the next time you use A's ult, you would just get like two extra damage. Assuming you only have two stacks, even though the max is three. What then? What's her little thingy here? When you're riding Shogun, who has this card equipped, uses secret art. Her her alt, right? Muso Tensetsu. 
Yeah. It will deal one additional damage for every point of resolve consumed. Additional damage. Plus one additional damage. <laughs> yeah, so maximum plus six. At that point, you're just like one shotting people. Kinda. Because that's if you have uh, obviously at like the best scenario, you fucking have three stacks of resolve, and then they switch to like a brand new character that has 10 HP, and then what? That's plus six damage, plus two. And you have the summon for additional damage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It doubles it, basically. Ace burst add one stack. I don't know if Ace burst gives her self a stack. Because the way it was worded is... It says after your other characters use bursts. So her own burst wouldn't give her a resolve stack. It makes sense because even in the game, after you use her, use her burst, everything goes back to zero. Hmm. There's a, there's a lot of potential here. Technically, in the best case scenario, it takes a little bit to like get to that point to build it up. But I mean, you could just one shot a character. With this too, the, the the summon. How do you also have a fucking summon with all this? Oh my god. That's insane to me. I hope Nahida is as, is as busted. She's probably got something to do with AoE damage or just, you know, dangerous stuff. Elemental reactions. <laughs> Normal attack, one dendro damage. Deal two dendro damage. Apply Seed of Skanda to target character. If the target character already has Seed of Skanda, apply to them. Then apply Seed of Skanda to all of the characters instead. So you do it twice. Oh, she also has four. Oh, she has two elemental skills. Deals three dendro applies Cedar Skanda to up. Oh, that's their that's their charge, right? Makes sense. I would never use the first one. I just like build up enough dice just to have the application of the seed to all characters immediately. Even though it costs a lot, this just feels more efficient. Even though technically you do it this like you get more damage out of this, so just math, but. I would, just to save turn, I would use this all the time. I mean, it's good that there's both though. Because sometimes you don't have that kind of dice. So, that's good. It's like situational. And this still kind of, the, the one that's not 5 cost, it still applies that all on the second time around. How long does it last? Two, two usages. After any character who has a Seed of Skanda takes elemental reaction damage, deal one piercing damage to the character to which the Seed of Skanda is attached on the same side of the field. So, elemental reaction, piercing, and then Seed of Skanda. Oh, maybe the other one's also not that bad. The only thing is the application of all. Chat, isn't swirl reaction? You can't swirl with Dendro, obviously, right? Yeah. Swirl is the only react. Rea Wait, isn't also what is it? Electro and what were what are? I think there's like two or three. What are some of the elemental reactions that does AoE damage? I know Electro and something does it. 
then that drives me insane. It pisses me off because it's like a chain reaction that does plus one to all my characters. Superconduct, okay. And then Swirl also does... Swirl, like with anything, also does um, AoE damage, right? Is that the only two reaction besides like... Not including Dendro that does AoE damage, Swirl and Superconduct? I guess that's it. Well, it doesn't matter because Dendro, when it when the when the Sea of Skanda elemental reaction is concerned, the Dendro's already applied, so I have to pick one of these. Electro charge. I guess Electro itself does. Okay, yeah. Okay. Wait. So let me see. Bloom. Plus one damage for this instance creates Dendro Core that grants plus two damage to the next instance of Pyro damage or Electro damage. Burning. Okay, quicken. Ahem. Here's here chat. Here's my build. Naihida? Wait, is there a high is there a Sumeru character that is Hydro? In the in the, Damn. There is no Sumeru character that is Hydro in the TCG. Is there? Damn. I was gonna say. Imagine in a world where Kokomi was Sumeru character. I use Nahida. And then I use Nahida, Kokomi, and Amber. And then I that also if if Kokomi was a two meta character, then I also can use that one card that asks you to have two Sumeru characters. So yeah, I would have to wait for Dilu and Candace. Because what I want to do is I want to have Bloom. And then just blow shit up with uh, Amber. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You can pair with Sino and one Hydro character. Interesting. Wait, what's her? What's her? What's her ult? The afford danger damage creates Shrine of Maya. Two cause. It's pretty simple, straightforward. Not a bad, not bad character. It's better than John Lee and fucking Venti. I can say that for sure. <laughs> Yo. I will say though, out of all the Archons, A is the best, and then it's Nahida. <laughs> and then Zhong Li, and then Venti. <laughs> Actually, Venti and Zhong Li are probably even. Because it's situational. One shield, one is disruption. She deals damage and TCG you with her ult. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Oh my god, what is this? After equipping this card, Alt. When your Nahida who has this card equipped in the f on, is on the field, the following effect would take place based on your party's elemental types. Holy shit, okay, this, this will make the difference here. When this when the alt is in the field, opposing characters who triggers opposing characters who trigger the seed of Skanda due to elemental reaction, they're affected. They are of what the fuck? 
Opposing characters who trigger the Sea of Skanda due to elemental reaction they're affect affected by will have the piercing damage they take from Sea of Skanda confirmed to Dendro damage. So basically, application of Dendro instead of piercing from the Sea of Skanda because the Seed of Skanda is a piercing damage. That way, in any event you have a Pyro character in your party, this effect basically what it will do is in an event that all the opponent characters are connected, instead of simply just taking piercing damage, they will all be afflicted with Dendro. It makes sense, okay. And then you will use that said Pyro character in your party to just burn everything down. In my case, Amber, because she has an AoE ult at 2 energy cost. Yes, that is the plan. That is the plan. <laughs> it's it's being formulated. Kirara miscellany drops. Uh we'll maybe watch it tomorrow. After we go through all these cards, um we're gonna watch the other video. The Sumeta video that people suggested earlier. Maybe we'll watch Kirara's video tomorrow. There's a Xiao card? Yeah, they just added it today. Okay, what's the, some of the other things here? That's the Pyro. Electro. When the shrine, when the all enters the field, the Seed of Skanda currently present in the pose gain one additional usage. That can be good with A. Because A does need like one more, like in an event that we want to get her rolling with her ult and the energy recuperation. Um, it, you might need that one extra usage if she were to try to use A with Nahida. So that's interesting. Okay, what's the Hydra? After your Nahida who has his card equipped unleashes ult. Duration rounds. Oh, the alts. Wait, then what's the. Oh, that's. Electra is related to Sea of Skanda. Hydra is related to the length of the alt itself. So, what happens if you have Hydra and Electro? You get one more usage and one more duration of the ult. Which is the best combination? I think Pyro is really good. Maybe Pyro and Hydro is better. Hmm. Kafka just got drip marketed? Yo, is it me or like the way they're doing drip marketing for Starvio is different? It is different, right? They're doing it like fucking the week before the week of the live stream instead of the week after the live stream. That's kind of interesting. Hey, maybe they're listening, chat. Giving us a roadmap a little bit earlier so pe we can, like, save. Maybe they're listening, chat.
Kafka, on the as Inter Astro Peace Corporation's wanted list, Kafka's entry only has two things her name and a single sentence. And a single sentence. Likes collecting coats. <laughs> Little is known about the Stellaron Hunter aside from her being one of the Destiny's slave Ilios most trusted member in order to achieve Elio's envision future Kafka gets to work that's blade right right here <laughs> that's a, that's blady's outfit right and that's server wolf's outfit So Island, are you gonna pull Kafka or Server Wolf? I'm getting Server Wolf. Let's sit in a in a perfect world. I pull for Server Wolf and I get her super early so I can get Kafka too. My question is, what's with the black cat? Isn't that kind of suspicious? Elios is a cat. Is Elios the cat? There's no way. <laughs> Maybe it's a. <laughs> Maybe it's, it's maybe Elios is a shapeshifter and is a cat. Wait, are you guys are you guys pulling my leg or like and just like joking around or is something in the game actually tells me Elio is a fucking cat? <laughs> I mean, I'll believe it. Chat, I'll believe it. If you if you come to me and say yo Elios is actually the cat, I'll be like, "Oh, you know what? That's this poggers, this dope as shit. I'll I'll take it. <laughs> Elios is the umbrella. That's pretty funny. It is cool how Silver Wolf just has umbrella for herself and Blady is holding umbrella for Kafka. <laughs> a talking cat? That'd be crazy. Isn't that just weird? How there's a random cat here? There has to be something in the future about something, something about this cat. There has to be. Maybe it's like Blady's pet or something. Or maybe of Kafka's pet, or maybe it's a pet of the Stellaron Hunters. I don't know. But that the location of that cat makes things kind of sus suspicious. Why is that randomly there? Maybe Blade has a soft spot for cat. Maybe! Every time I see the word blady, my mind thinks of bladder. <laughs> There's five stellar hunters, Elios, Kafka, Silver Wolf, Blade. Who's the fifth one? Who knows? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Dude. Honkai Staria sometimes scares me. This tweet went up seven minutes ago. Look at this. <laughs> it really scares me. Yeah, it's Kafka, I understand, but it's this is insane. It's really getting on the level, if not like already similar to Genshin. That's crazy. Is there anybody else they drip marketed? Blade, right. Blade is a 5 star. Kafka is also 5 star, obviously. Okay. This was yesterday, right? Yeah, this was yesterday. Oh my god! <laughs> Do you see this? Do you see this? Dude! 100,000 likes? <laughs> and that's for Blade! I wonder how much uh, Kafka's gonna get in a day. <laughs> it's already near 10k and it's, less than ten it's been less than 10 minutes, bro! <laughs> this fucking shit's been less than 10 minutes! Oh my god! 
it's, this is about to explode. No drip for Genshin. I have a feeling they're not doing it on purpose because I feel like they know they know that the hype for drip marketing is all fucking on Star Rail at this current on this current week. Maybe, I don't know, but if they're smart, they'd spread it out. Isn't it too soon for Genshin? They're supposed to have done the drip marketing like two days ago. Or even yesterday. Supposed to with the patterns, but they didn't. Makes me question, is there nothing to drip market for the next patch? Or are they just waiting for Star Rail strip marketing to pass? Yeah, it could be one or the other. There's nothing new, like you said. Uh, Hakuba's... Yeah, there's nothing new, like you said. Or... They're just waiting for this to pass. Who knows? Shit, 10 minutes, 9k likes, that's insane. That's insane. Alright. Shit. I think... Tomorrow, after I wake up... I guess after coming back from the airport, I'll try to like get Nahida and Amber invited and then try out the how they work together. So that's all the new characters, I think. And then there's more monster stuff. Oh, did I never do this? Shit, okay. Wait, wait, wait. What is this gadget thing you guys are talking about? Why can I not use this as one of the gadgets? This kind of makes me pissed off. Is there a way to get to your... card deck quicker? Am I dumb? I got a new letter from an informant. Looks like this I always have to like go into the menu like this and that like it's on it annoys me There's not oh wow wow, that's kind of annoying Okay This is cool though There Now how does that work it's changed again hold ah That's cool Maybe it's because you don't use it in the overworld. Maybe, maybe. Yo, one step at a time. If this is in the game now, we're one step closer to artifact loadouts. Am I right, chat? Or is that a fucking still massive copium? Is that, am I right or is that still massive copium? Oh, there's one thing I do need to check. Inhaling. Hoping. I don't know if I want to check the enemy, en enemy cards. They're kind of whack. I'll, 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 meet, I'll face them and then I'll learn about them. But there's something even more important than that. Dynamic skins. Dynamic skins, baby. Where's Amber? I'll buy this. <laughs> don't I have a Yoimiya one? Yeah, I already have the Yoimiya one. No, wait, I don't. Who did I get skins for? Oh, official click on you. Oh my god. It glows. Oh. <gasps> There's the second part of the animation. Wait, what about A, the OP character? What about the OP Archon? Damn, she's really about to murder somebody. I 
I wish this shows you, like, the animation for their skills and stuff. Basically, what I was looking for is I want to see what her alt looks like, cause the, the boba sword, <laughs> the, the booba, booba sword. But we don't get to see like a uh, alt animation in this. Where's uh Benti? This dude. Oh, that's cool. Cute. Where's John Lee? Osmentus wine. <laughs> I wish I can filter this with new. Um Xiao. Dun 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 Yeah, he's just chilling. He's just chilling. She's just chilling. Try filters maybe. Eh not not with new. There's no new. Who <laughs> tao? What? <laughs> That's cute. Mm. I feel like. Hoyoverse is playing favorites with the animation for certain characters. Does it not look that way, chat? Some of the characters have like a secondary animation. If you idle for a little bit, this is the this is just re repeated. No way, oh sad. Yeah, it does look that way. Yeah, Chen Ha. Uh, another repetition. Yeah, yeah, it's like one animation. I think it's just one. I'm surprised Hu Tao got a second animation. Or I should say like a extended animation is more ap apt to say. She's got this idol. And then this. <laughs> It depends. I think it depends on how the cards are designed. Maybe. Hey. Boing, boing. Cool. Yeah, Amber has like a little bit of an extended one. I like that. Good. They should. I mean, they better. And his is the same. Okay. All right. Yo, Emiya. We'll do this. You will do this tomorrow. We'll do this tomorrow. Okay. We got to eventually get on the hangout. This is just letting us know there's new cards. So, I'm assuming Thursday we'll get another tab here for the actual TCG event. Okay. Alright, cool. Alright, chat. I think that's it for me today. Except we'll watch that video and then we'll call it a day. What do you, what do you say? We'll watch that one video that you told me to watch and we'll call it a day. Ugh. Oh yeah, fuck, Gamba. I fucking forgot. Let me sit on this couch. Fuck, man. I almost forgot. Get out of!
first try. Wow. What the fuck? I don't even get a refund. What the fuck? Wait. 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 What? What the fuck is Ning Wong? Oh, she's already maxed. Okay. Mm. Hi ya! Damn. But I was gonna one tap it. Chat, ten more and we 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 call it a day, right? Because I'm saving for Hydro Icon. Ten more, we'll call it a day. What is my pity here? So that's nine. I just did a single. That's ten. And then we did a 10, so we're at 20. 30, and we call it a day. 30 pity. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one! Alright. Alright. I don't want to go too crazy here, chat. I think it's smart that I stop now. Or, I meant... Wait, I can only get two? Wait, what was that? Wait, what? What just happened? Oh, I didn't buy them. Oh, I didn't buy them because I was poor. <laughs> the two that I had left, I didn't buy them this month because I was poor. See, I'm in this weird place in my Genshin Impact spending. I'm in this weird place. I used to spend a lot of money and buying these was like not really a problem. But then I stopped spending. So I completely run out of these Stardust things. Now I'm sitting here like, well, I can't really buy this anymore. <laughs> I need to save this for the next month's intertwined fates. Damn. That's that's too bad. All right. Two more pulls. I have OCD. I'm at 217. Two more pulls. I have OCD. All right, last one. All right, we're done. Alright, good, good, good pity building. We're at pity 32. Let's go. We'll get Kirara eventually. Shit, at one point, she might actually even come, become free. Who knows? Eventually. Had escaped. No. Alright. Let's watch that video. I'll pin this in chat. I don't know what this thing is. Uh, it's a it's a video called Summary in Sumeru. We'll see what's it, what it's about. Apparently, it's really good. It's seven minutes long. By the way, have you guys seen my video I uploaded yesterday or this morning or yesterday? Uh, for Honkai Stario. If you haven't, 
Uh, and if you want to watch, go take a look. It's just, it, it was a sponsored video, so it, it would be very helpful if you did watch. But if you don't want to and you're not interested, that's completely fine. But if you did watch it, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Okay. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hell yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, let's watch this video. A summary in Sumeru. Genshin Impact song. Apparently, this is a sponsored video. I don't know what kind of sponsors, but... Thoroughly investigate the mythical stupendium subscribe button. This <laughs> project was sponsored by Genji Impact. Get More Genji! Genji Impact! <laughs> Genji! Damn, Genji! Oh, hello! You don't look familiar. Oh, they have captions. I suppose you're here for a little bit of lyrical enlightenment, hmm? Alright then. Strap him. Welcome, witty traveler. You're new. I haven't seen you. You stand to Mr. Granger of Sumeru Academia. That's called a depository of knowledge and philosophy. Concoction and apocryphy are seldom to be seen here. Our word is. It's a rap song? <laughs> I am now familiar with this channel and its content. I didn't know it was a rap song. That's pretty dope. Alright, let me go back and like actually pay attention to the lyrics then. Strap in. Welcome, witty traveler. You're new. I haven't seen you. You stand to Mr. Granger of Sumeru Academia. That's called a depository of knowledge and philosophy. Concoction and apocryphy are seldom to be seen here. Our word is efficient in a world with the discipline delighting the minds of the world and its citizens. You strike me as likely a person who's visiting. So might be you find your uncertain affinity with boffin to technology and knowledge for biology. But you dropped in the college of the prof of etiology. The study of what was and is their causes. And well, probably you think of it as history. Simply stick with your tolerance. So on it be the Sumeru to summarize events for the quick initiation to equip you for adventure. The music twist of nations, the intrigues and invasions, exquisitely relayed by a semi certain mentor. I'll be honest, there's a lot of it, and they were never wrong. There's a reason no one's ever tried to show it in a song. While musicians of tradition try the kingdom might prefer ballads, when it's beating wisdom, you'll forgive a little word salad. Right, here goes then. We'll start with the easy stuff. Well, easy ish. Okay. So I'll take you through the basics, the most obvious of straight facts. You've landed in the land and is the continent of Tay. That is made of seven nations, death, the tan, and then for pain. And Zuma ruin in the Zubas, there's Fanial, you won't stand. I don't get overwhelmed, there's a plethora of realms. Elemental light, abyssal void, and human where we dwell. But don't think of them as places, they all take up the same space. It's more like layers in a cake. Well, no, that ceiling may be well. The cake is filled with columns, no, the elemental kind. There's light and dark respectively, but ours are called ley lines. Like magic dreams of energy that carry all the memories of everyone there's ever been and all they've left behind. Perhaps I should have tackled this before we've begun, but the human realm was by the primordial one I'd expect a god progenitor needs modern context first No, this is too complex, I'll save it for the next verse The Genshin dimension is pretty intense Little bit of this too dense to mention Now I don't mean to test your comprehension But I think it's best you pay attention If you fall from the stars for all sorts of fun travels Before you can start, you put more to unravel The academia of encyclopedia is a crack source Want to make an impact? You need a crash course Right Damn, <laughs> I like that Want to make an impact? You need to crash, but it's crash course, like studying, because it's wisdom, Sumeru. But crash is also related to impact, and impact is already also related to Genshin Impact. That's funny. I like that. Get impact, you need a crash course. Right. You got all that? Good. How about a little ancient history? Okay. You asked for it. So many millennia ago, there was the sovereigns, dragon lords, the all powerful sort, just sort of hovering about all seven with a territory embellished by their presence with their elemental offerings. You want to hear specifics, but we haven't got time. But each nation got a scholar and impact on their climbs. There's cryo, pyro, hydro, dendro, electro, geo, and me. I really convenient that they all happen to rhyme. Then obviously enters the primordial one. The progenitor I mentioned in a war was begun. The primordial one for the lords of dragons. And when all said and done, the primordial one. The old world <laughs> ends and the new begins, which the god made fit. Humans here, and the peace and prosperity were brief. We can generally agree that human realm is quite a useful thing. And the dendrum 
I should mention, there were sisters in the moon. Only one of them was canon, but I'm pretty sure it's true. They lived in a lunar palace where they kept the stars in balance, and the people called the Sealy rose to relevancy too. But that's beside the point. The fact is, all were living happily for several generations, got reside beside humanity, a great civilization. Nations weaved into a tapestry of arts and innovation, then the ancient calamity. The universe, it just can't be birth, but it soon laid waste to the heavens and earth. When the second new came, yes, I swear that's their name, suddenly ended the game, and well, the records of regret began there. What happened next? We're not actually sure. They were far too busy dying to keep track of the score. But those scissors eclipsed and the city were whipped. But let's just break with a chorus and then come back to the war. The Genshin dimension is pretty intense. So it's good. Genshin dimension and this session's attempt to attempt to condense and to dispense with all the questions. If you hold from the stars for all sorts of fun travels, before you can start, you've got lore to unravel. The academia and encyclopedia is a crack source. Want to make an impact? You need a crash course. Yeah. He, this this dude raps for six minutes. <laughs> it's a very long song, but I'm liking it. You're still here. Uh, people don't normally make it this far. I thought you might have switched for a different video <laughs> during the second chorus. <laughs> right. Listen up, it's time to learn about the Archon War. When it started again, we are not sure. It's either start of the calamity or after it. What matters is it happened, it was bad, but it lasted for at least a whole millennia. Again, be clear, we're guessing here. The date is in Celestia, a region in the heavens where the gods are in their special chairs and sit and do whatever. Dare to question who do better and who gets to keep on messing now. Seven divides, he saw the heavens divided. Each nation collides with those they used to ally with as deities fight over a blade in the sky until they got a seating plan they could agree on design. And when chaos subsided and the seats were agreed and those nations in place had their duty to creed All seven could they get up with an ear of peace No! There was an eight one hiding beneath their feet Yes, Kenry, I was underground and hidden from the gods Which, as you can imagine, well, they didn't like a lot So they smote them with their vanity Now known as a calamity Which back by quite spectacularly But what would be odd? Because they unleashed official creatures Which was probably horrific But again, when being eaten They're undocumented specific So better not as well Because it's plainly depressing Another half millennia And hey, it's the present The Genshin dimension is pretty intense But with events to dense dimension It's a good song But I'm assuming the next two, next minute and a half, it's about Sumeru. So far, the lore is very accurate, at least from what we know. But it was the overarching, uh, the world building of Genshin in general. But I don't, I don't mind it. It's phenomenal. He is talking really fast though, throughout the entire thing. I mean, obviously it's a rap, but like, holy shit, it's testing my attentiveness to keep up because he's rapping so fast. <laughs> if you fall from the stars with all sorts of fun travels Before you can start, you would love to unravel The academia and encyclopedia is a crack source Want to make an impact? You'll need a crash course Want to fight gods? Well, before your destiny You're gonna have to battle with some law complexities You can master magic or the mass a great attack force Want to make an impact? You'll need a crash course There we go! We're done! A complete and thorough history of the land of Teyvat. Everything you could need to know. Oh, so the idea is that, you know, it's it's we're in Sumeru and then we're just using the context of like history and past and those kind of things because that's the concept of wisdom and knowledge of Sumeru and we're just using that to summarize the game of Genshin Impact story. Okay, I was wondering like if it was like a Sumeru summary rap. But now I'm looking at the title, it's actually backwards, it's summary in Sumeru. <laughs> so the summary is the game and we're just doing it because we're in Sumeru. Okay, okay. Uh, I did neglect to mention the Nelsies, the Vision Wielders, the Vatui and the Abyss Order, at least one or two other types of dragon. Look, there's a lot, okay? You'll figure it out. It's stressful trying to keep track of this stuff. It takes a toll. Look at me. I'm only 26. <laughs> Genshin Impact is an open world action RPG game available on PC, iOS, Sponsor Android, segment. Let's go. 4, M5. Step into a vast magical world now and start your adventure on the continent of Teva. The new Parade of Providence update brings new events to experience, new places to explore, a new boss to face, and new characters, Baizu and Kave to play. As Wait, this is from a this is a video from the last you patch. And can you? Join the journey with travel. So it was like uh, six weeks ago. And of Tamar. And thanks to Genshin Impact for sponsoring this lecture. 
Thank you for <laughs> I do hope you found today's class informative. If you enjoyed it, you can find Oh, it released two weeks ago. Okay. Less educational songs when we're during in the patch, place. right? And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. It's good. Good writing. Terminals, you knew that already. Farewell, traveler. Now, if you don't mind, I have a sandwich to eat. <laughs> I don't know who writes the song. I'm sure this person also writes their songs when they make videos, but I really highly doubt all the lore information was something that was in his brain. Uh, so somebody probably helped him with the concepts of the story and lore, but whoever was help writing it, and then I guess they might have done it together because it's a rap song and he needs to like inject his personality and his words into it. Uh, good job, shit. Description. You want me to read this paragraph? Oh my god. Hold on. Ah. They secretly play Genshin? Do they? That's dope. Shit, if they do and they keep up with the story, that's 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 mad props. And then you use and then you use that to make the song? That's mad props. What is this? At when I was first approached to work with Genshin Impact as a promotional song for their big update, I would be remiss to say I w it wasn't spectac skeptical. It's all good. I make plenty of mistakes. This is not how you spell it, right? <laughs> I'm not insane. Yeah, it's with the K, but all good. Wait, you can spell it with the C. I'm just being nitpicky here. Okay. Oh, that's actually right. Damn, okay. Just what I... What would I do with it? That is the English way. It makes sense. There's a lot of words like that. True. Just what I would... Just what would I do with it? It's for certain not my typical fare here on the channel, but there's nothing I love more than a challenge. Arguments could be made for a good, strong cheddar, but big cheddar have yet to reach up. Okay. So Liz and I set up playing and researching the lore... Uh, set up... Set about playing and researching the lore Genshin Impact to try and find an angle that would be good fitting for a channel in our research of lore we discovered two key things number one there's a lot of it like oh my god holy shit there's so much lore oh my god what the fuck my job is so hard there's a lot to go around your head how would i pick one time one thing to squeeze into a song number two there's an entire region of the game devoted to the pursuit of knowledge with the grand academia at its center if we prove one thing over the past five years is that if you give me a, an establishment where some sort of authoritative figure could conceivably lecture a listener on a given relevant topic, I can squeeze that through my noggins, songs, nozzle, extrude a jam from it. Word, word, word. Good song. So what if I try to cram as much lore as possible into little time as possible? That's why he was uh, rapping so fast. Makes sense. Because usually... When you write a song like in a rap, the hook was good, but you know what? When you usually rap, you kind of want to put like different flows into it. Uh, but he was on that like super, super, super like double, triple time rapping because there was so much information he was trying to cram, <laughs> which makes a lot of sense. All right, that's a challenge, true. This song could easily have been five times longer, still not covered everything, so it's far from comprehensive, but as fun raced through the history of the continent of Tavad, it is, as a kid would say, a bop! A huge thanks to everyone who helped pull this project together, to Gemma for returning to the channel to make the costume, nice. Toy Box, to Stargirl for the work of the makeup, nice. Uh, this person, this person, can't say their name. I don't know how to pronounce it, unfortunately. For the work of the CG. And always to Oxygen. Mixing track, nice. A lesson learned from this project. A big fake mustache glued to your lip that stops your upper lip moving plus what? <laughs> what? Okay. And treadmill in a few. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, fast lyrics in a hazard of robe. Equals A, a very hard time lip syncing, true. And B, the fact that even using all the best takes, you can't see my mouth moving under all the facial hair. <laughs> yeah, because 
obviously at the end here it was it was lip synced for for obvious reasons here cuz uh iOS Android No, he's not. But there's just one portion. PlayStation. Wait, what the Okay, there it is. At the end here. If you fall from the stars but also this part. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good though. It's obviously lip syncing, but it's good enough. And then the yeah, they're right, the fucking mustache covers it all. <laughs> Good, holy shit, that's 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 good work. <laughs> nice. Rapping Island when I'm not very good. Well, I'm not very good at writing. But I can rap. I can actually rap, I'm just not good at writing. Like lyrics and stuff. It takes a while. Maybe in the future. I've done it before. But maybe you did promise that loyal to the beat Arc Knights cover. I know, I know, <laughs> I know, I know. How did that song go again? Do I even remember some of it? Uh, what's it called? Hey, don't start with me. I put that into it all. Hey, uh, yeah, listen, they better kneel to the ball. Come on, I ain't come to play. I ain't just to say, best believe today's jockey day. Once I touch the stage, uh huh, top spot forever, bruh. These numbers will fluctuate. Hottest thing alive when I shine, I set the sun ablaze. Make the winter season play all like summer days. But what, cause there ain't no other way, no matter what we wait, uh huh. I'm unknown, afraid, I'll never run away. Best to do it, done it, did it, flip it. About a hundred ways, I'm just saying, right? I'm a winner, bro. It's never be cool to fight. If you emperor, listen up. Are you men or mice? I'm a tentacle. Fight for middle. We'll never seen the likes of original making miracles. Y'all don't see the light. Y'all got me eye closed. Open the side zone. Life like a media ended in the media. Never because of a mind wrong. Right to rip. Y'all gotta quit. Y'all got this is own wound. You're gonna hit it. What the fun? This is the dial tone. Hey, I, I did a little bit, but <laughs> it, it, it's not bad, right? It's not bad. I, 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 I practiced for like maybe an hour, like few, few, few months ago. It's not bad, right? I just don't know. I basically, if I need to cover this song without like the background vocals or the actual main vocals and inject my voice to it, I have to memorize the flow, like the flow. And that was probably the hard part, not memorizing the lyrics, but the memorizing the flow, because you would have to cover it, right? <laughs> that was what was hard. This song, the lyrics are not hard. It's just the flow is kind of like, uh, in a good way, it's very all over the place, which is good. It, it's like, it, it keeps it fresh. It's just memorizing every like flow of every line was actually pretty difficult. That's why I kind of stopped. Well, didn't put a lot of time, more time. Mm -mm 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 -mm. One day, one day. But anyways, anyways. Do you guys really want to like have me do the full thing? Do you guys really want me to just like fucking cover the whole thing <laughs> i don't know i i let me ask you a question chat personally in my opinion maybe because i have experience with like the, uh, like you know like my getting my feet wet with rapping i think personally 
covering a rap song is not hard because all you have to do is just enunciate and get the timing right. And um, that's pretty much it. As opposed to singing, which is hard because I feel like singing is a more difficult skill. Because when you're covering a rap song, you're basically just memorizing the words. And then you're just learning how to do the flow. Singing, you actually have to train your vocals to hit certain notes. Does that make sense? I think freestyle rapping is insanely hard. I think that's completely different. But like... Doing covers, I thought it wasn't that like cool, but I mean, if people want it, I can do it, you know. I don't know, maybe I'm just maybe I'm just lazy. We want more. I have been wanting to write a song for a while, a rap song actually. It's just, I don't know a good, I don't have a good topic. And I don't have a good beat. Danny. AC, thank you for the five get to memberships, let's go! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! There was this one song, hold on. I asked, you know TMB, right, chat? Hi, and the There was this one track. Uh, okay, what's going on here? Okay, what happened? Hi, and the Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you. Hell yeah. Um, there was a uh. Akko, thank you for the five gifted membership. Thank you so much. You guys are you guys are poggers. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hell yeah. I appreciate you. I, I think maybe chat lagged or internet lagged. I don't know what happened. But thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Uh there's this one beat that TMB made a while back, and I reached out to TMB and I said, uh Hey, can I use a can I use your beat for a rap song? I do and the sea. And then they said, yeah, like, knock yourself out. I forgot which one it was exactly. I think this was it. And I was trying to write a uh, rap song to this. It's too slow though, I feel like. Hey, hey. Yeah, I can do it. I can probably write a lyrics to this. It won't be as fast, but freestyle. I can't freestyle. I I cannot do freestyle. It's I am Garbo. Garbo Garbo. But then. I chose this song because I was looking through all the Genshin Impact songs. A lot of Genshin Impact songs, it's like... How do you put it? It's so orchest orchest orchestrical or orchestral? <laughs> orchestral? It's not so much like a beat. There's like so much going on constantly, but this was like the most tame one. Kazuha demo? What's this song? Yeah. It's 
so much build up. This is what I mean, it's very... Finally, okay. Okay, what's what's another song? Ayaka? Uh, let's see. Oh, this is a- okay, this is probably the best one. Yeah, this is probably the best one. You can do a lot with this. I don't know. I'll consider it. I'll think about it. Because that's, that beat is one thing. I have to sit down and think about what to write. And I don't want to make... When I make a song, I there's like a difference between... You know how every time I get on the guitar and I make like fun, stupid songs. And it's really fun and enjoyable. And then it's cool. Like I'm not doing my best to sing or rap. It's just like random. Like that one song we made last time for... I forgot what it was, but I was just playing the guitar and, you know, we we're just doing random shit. Um, but for rapping and, like, badass beats like that, I want to make it, like, pretty dope. So I probably have to sit down and write. But we'll see. We shall see! Thank you for the gift of memberships, by the way, again, Akko and AC. Appreciate you guys. Chat, I'm done for today! Thank you for hanging out. I have to get up early tomorrow to go to the airport. Uh, so many things to do for Island. Doing streaming, making videos, making rap songs. Do <laughs> yeah, it's fun though. It's fun. We'll be back tomorrow for Yoimiya's story quest, uh, the second story quest, and we'll take it from there. We try not to. We'll try not to like to do plan too much because things always fluctuate. But thank you, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good rest of your day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Good morning. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Join our Discord. Participate in their emote contest for a chance to win Welcome Moon and all that in our Discord. Thank you, everybody. Peace. Bye bye. 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 Yeah. Uh. 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 I rap because I can. You feel me, fam? Hell yeah. I play Genshin Impact and Honkai Impact Third. I'm running out of time because I, 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 my brain just. Take a shit in the urn, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hoyo verse. This is my verse. A freestyle in Island Nexty. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, bye. Bye. Peace.